Goes far in Champions League and goes Europa League final. Wins the Johan Cruyff Shield. Oh, the prestigious. That's the Stairs Award. Yeah. Stairs Award. <laughs> Stairs Stairs award. We, check. we don't ever mention Charity <laughs> Shield wins. Won the Stairs Award. He comes to England, wins the Carlin Cup. Oh. Filthy, we're back. If you're new to the channel, please give us a subscribe. If you're not new to the channel and you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe to the channel. It's nice just to know that you lot are there and you've clicked that button and you've clicked the reminder and you're part of the community and the gang and the crowd. The crowd, yeah. yeah. Crowd. Shut them up. Cold. Boys, last week was crazy. <laughs> last week was crazy. We had Adam McCola. Yeah, man. Yeah. <clears throat> we can all be honest about him now. He's gone. Nah, Adam's he's a argumentative cool guy, lad, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he, he's so argumentative. He started talking about the tactics of the 1966 World Cup final. Oh, he's a mad <laughs> Nobby Styles locked off you, Sabio. That's crazy. Adam, you're never coming back. Adam's class. Bad phone, though. What phone does he have? I don't know what. I think it was a oh, Hitachi. He hates Apple. I think it was a Hitachi or a Hat. So, Adam is so alternative. <laughs> Adam is so alternative. He, as long as I've known him, he's never had an iPhone. Adam, Adam's phone's bad, I man. Say yeah. a, I say he's got a Hyundai, bro. <laughs> he's got a Daewoo. He's got a Daewoo. Hey, you see that detail from Jordi? It's crazy, bro. Did you man ever, before Apple was like booming, yeah? A couple of men came to my block and tried to sell apples, but they had aerials. Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. iPhones with aerials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, wasn't yeah. real. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Yeah, Remind course us not. the block? Yeah? My block, my yeah. block. Yeah, set Raph's, where I'm from. <laughs> Good. Man said my block. My where I'm from. from. You're always on the back foot for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets defensive and he tries to argue with you. He just no, said no, you're right. Well, my block where I'm from. I understand? Yeah, it's just where I lived. Yeah, um, yeah. Fake apples. There was about pears. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> so it was funny. Boys, today we are going to be counting down the top ten managers in the Premier League. I think we've seen enough this season. A lot of managers have been sacked. Hmm. And I'll be honest, a couple of the managers didn't even make the shortlist. I think 10 managers have been sacked this season, around 10. I don't know. Yo, serious? Around 10. There are managers that deserve time and there are managers that should just be sacked every year. And I don't think it's bad to get sacked as a manager, unless you're really shot. Nah, you're up, you're up if you get sacked. No, I just, don't, I just don't think it's that big of a stain on your reputation to get sacked from a Premier League team these Not days, now. unless you really stink. Not now. Back like in it, the day, it was a back mad in the bad. Getting sacked, you'll see them, the interview, man's all moving, mad, yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank. I just want to thank. I used to film man driving up the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After he collects these so bags, he collects so dreads. Yeah. Steve, yeah. yo, does um does Moyes need time or should he go? All oh, right, um, nah, 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 nah. Should I think? Nah, I'm what? Not, I'm not a fan nah, of managers what? getting the sack. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. What? <laughs> um, I'm afraid. Yeah, Moisey, thanks, mate. You've done well for us in times. We've kept us up and I'm had a great European run. But it's time to go. Do we think the Prem's got good managers in it? Do you know what, yeah? I think the Prem's got good managers, but I think we need to bring back uniform. What does that mean? But everyone just wear a suit, man. I saw Lupetegui in a brown... Hang about, that brown uniform. I know a lot of them used to, but if you think of Neil Warnock back in the day, he was always in a tracky... Ah, yeah. well then do the club tracksuit. I don't know what... Um, yeah. What Pep's doing? Yeah, Pep's it is. Yeah, Pep's team. Cardigans. Man. He's, what, he's, he's one. Air Forces. I seen Freddie Yuberg in Valentino's. All kind of stank. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about him. Paul Tisdale. We spoke about him before. Exeter manager. Sure, mate. Have we not? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Paul Tisdale. We spoke about him before. <laughs> <laughs> the day, um, I see Lampard in a um, smart little jacket like what Lippi's got on. I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna lose. Uh, but today we're gonna be counting down the top ten managers in the Premier League. I don't think any of the top 10 are going to be sacked by the time this comes out, which ah. is good. <laughs> T, I don't know. No, nah, not the top 10. Not the top 10. <laughs> okay, let's see. But outside the top 10. I'll call it if I think it. Bank. Remember, weakest link. Shane Omar. Bank. Weakest links. Yeah, okay. Um, Harry was on it. Don't do that. No, I know. I was, I was going to say I actually was playing it in Dave and Buster's in New York the other day <laughs> on the machine. Bank. Nah, it was better off saying it was rubbish still. Dave and Buster's class. <laughs> What's Dave and Buster's? It's basically just like an arcade. Arcade sports bar, yeah. They're stupid. It's for kids, but it's sick. <laughs> but I'm it's stupid. Introduce... It's for kids, but it's sick. Yeah. What do you mean? You went to watch Super Mario the other day. I know, but stupid for kids and I sick. I grew up on Mario. It's sick. That's it's different. Sick. Yeah, stupid for kids and sick. And yeah. Bowser is class. Bowser should get a, a BAFTA for what he done in that film. BAFTA. And the little. Uh, how old are Mario? How little... old are they supposed to be? They're young. Yeah. Because they're, they're still li living with their parents. Live with their parents. Yeah. Who Mario? But he's got a beard and things. Moustache, moustache, moustache. Yeah. They're brothers. No, nah, don't do that. I know bear Turkish man with moustache at 14. So you're saying Mario's not... Anyway. 
Is Could it Danny? Mario and Luigi live with their parents in the film? Oh, I can't. I'm gonna go and watch that. And they jump down pipes. <laughs> <laughs> they do that in the game as well. Mm. <laughs> Pipe brothers. I'm gonna introduce the panel from my right to my left. He's um, he's brought back the Arsenal jacket. Adam's not here, so it can't mean Adam. I believe that logo is from the 1930s. Got you, man. Still top of the league, so I'm still wearing it. Get me, it's the wear it in my yard sometimes. It's an aggressive A. It's not an aggressive A. It's a baseball Yeah, man, baseball League. His name's man. Lippy Lickshutter. Do you remember that time when Lippy wasn't Lips. on the show for like four weeks? Well, that we were was going tough. crazy, weren't they? Now, that we was tough. now we can't get rid of him. Now we can't get rid of him. But that was a tough, that was a tough era. The no Lippy era. Four Difficult. weeks, since one 20, month? Since 2020, Lippy has been... You had the crowd on the stairs, though. Like a pivotal yeah, central midfielder. One me. match back, yes? Yeah, yeah that's how it goes on. That's how it goes here, Bruno though. Oh, my God. The it. midfielder episode, the hatred we got. Oh, my God. I'm seeing the crowd are chatting to me on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> They're stopping me. They're saying, yo... What's your problem with Bruno, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Bruno, you got, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's We don't Bruno, talk man. about Bruno. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't get it. Disney, D- Disney song. Disney, Disney, Disney song, yeah. yeah. Like, hey, we yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, were yeah, like yeah. proper, like everyone knew. But let me tell you, the but crowd will know. But this guy's a father of, of oh, no, how many? No, no. Five. We don't talk about Bruno. Yeah, but, yeah, but this guy's, got, can't talk about this guy's got an encyclopedic knowledge of Disney stuff. Oh, By I didn't know. I didn't know. Stupid for kids, but sick. Yes. Yeah. I make my youths watch that one thing only. Is it? My son watches Blues Clues only. <laughs> Blues oh, Clues, I know why you do that Blues though. So you can watch it too. God. It, it's like the, it, it has like the least songs. Like very really, like it's just it's somebody. It gets annoying, man. It's mad repetitive. That one's a bit different. Like you get me. And Kanto's class, man. Yeah. Next on the panel, he's representing for the crowd. He is of the crowd. I'm not gonna make a joke about his tweet. <laughs> because that's, that was three weeks ago or whatever. His name's yeah. Poet. What's good, people? How are you, man? Saka, we're sorry for what Miles said to you last episode. That was mad. He said, it. drop him. Just show man you can ball. Rotate. Cold. 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 Show Cold. man you can cold. ball. Yeah, he's cold. a baller, man. He's a guy. He's going to fire us to the title. Cold, cold, man. Cold. He's cold, man. Cold. 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 He's cold, man. But you need rest. You need rest, man. Next on the panel, he's a prophet in his own town. Mm. His name's Jordy, not Jordan. Mm-hmm. Um, I think people still call you Jordan. Ah, they shouldn't. Do you ball cold? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> thank you for having me. By the way, T. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not me that has you. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back from. I'm <laughs> <laughs> He's back from Brighton. I'm fresh back from Brighton, and it was a good show, man. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of you there. How was yeah? <laughs> How was the um, possession counter attack? <sighs> well, listen. What we did is we. Um, we we played through the middle. Yeah. So what they do is they press the middle. Yeah. And if they when they do that, we go out to the shadow to the, the press. Wings. Come on, man. I hear it. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Next on the panel, he's on his way to the gym. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but he's at his Jim Brown. strongest since 2022 at least. Jim Brown. His name's Margs. And uh, how's your football manager game going after you cheated to beat Atletico Madrid? I didn't cheat, man. After that, I went on a seven win. <laughs> 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 Can't convince himself, cuz. Yeah, went on a seven win. Um, Street charge. Street yeah. charge. Yeah, all of that. It was great. You know what I say? And obviously, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to do um, ankles, knees, and toes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can do knees, though. Well, and yeah, very mean of man. Every time we talk about wrestling, you never bring up the fact that you're, you're with us. I'm Is in it? deep. Well, yeah. these are some super wrestling fans. We, we were watching WrestleMania downstairs. Mars came downstairs. Well, you lot watched this already, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Seen it. I love wrestling, man. I can't lie. And it's making like a resurgence. You get me? Because mm-hmm. the shows the shows are good. They're well mm-hmm. put together. Oh, oh, amazing. I'm appreciating that. Sheesh. So, yeah, I'm Sheesh. gone. Sheesh. Nah, I'm, I'm playing a game. I'm everything. I'm playing a game. Up. Yeah, indeed, man. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Miles, who's next on the panel? Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Because of the knee braces? Because I just loved his attitude. Just didn't care. <laughs> 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 316, my brother. Just didn't care. I loved his attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't wrestle. Terrible wrestler. He wasn't the best wrestler, but. Yeah, he, he had no moves. Yeah, no moves, but he used of, to just. Of injuries. No, he injuries. was all right. That was injuries. That yeah, yeah. He, injuries. Could, he, could, he could work before, but. He used to just not care about anything and anyone. He's just. He was on it, bro. Didn't was, he have long hair back in the day? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Stunning yeah, Steve. Steve. Stunning Steve. He's got, he's got daughters in Essex. No, he doesn't. In Brent, yeah, yeah, Brent he's got, yeah, he's got a daughter in, in, in Essex. Who's your who, who's your favorite wrestler now? Logan Paul. 
Class. He can wrestle though. Well, that, yeah, he's, man. He's cold. He's very good. But they co- don't they come from wrestling backgrounds? Him and his brother. Amateur wrestling, yeah. Is it? I like, didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, so they've been out here doing that. Yeah, so they're that one. That. Mine, Seth freaking Rollins. <laughs> Seth freaking Rollins, your favorite wrestler right now. Yeah, right. Now, is yeah. it? You know who I used to like? AJ Styles. Yeah, Class. He's injured. He's injured. He's injured. He's yeah, yeah, bad wicked, boy. Wicked. Bad boy. Cold. But yeah, Miles, aka Miles, aka the best looking guy on YouTube. What is this? He's even getting other man to say it for him. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> He's picked up the wrong one that's got my bubble gum in it. <laughs> that's got my chewed bubble gum. The camel balls. Next on the panel, we got a man who's got his camel balls lined up on the table. His name's Steve O the Madman. He wants to talk about nostalgia and he wants you all to join him yeah. often oh, as possible. I love it, mate. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it. Um, so what, do you want to talk about, what do you want to talk about today then? Today, what's the um, what's from the past that's got you tickled? What's got me tickled from the past? Um, recently, what, the recent past. Uh-huh. The, the past recent or recently? Past. Now, what's recently got me tickled from the past? Okay, go on. Um, Last week it was Michael Jordan. That's a good play on time there. This week, it is Leeds. United. What? Leeds United. Yeah. Um, the old um, two thousand era. No, 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 no. Way back. <laughs> Clough. What, Gary McAllister? Clough, bro. Clough. Yeah, 70s, 70s. 70s? 70s. Yeah. God damn. The damned United. The damned United, mate. Yeah. yeah what, Basically, they, they, they had a terrible team. Nigel Cl- um, Brian Clough comes. Nope. What? Nope. No, it's just absolutely not the story. No. So you lied. <laughs> 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 they were the best team. Then Clough took him over, and then they, didn't and they were like, "Screw yeah. this guy!" Yeah. And then it was hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Cloughy. But you know what they say? You know what, what they did say? they say, Steveo? Because I ain't done my intro. Yet. I, I ain't finished it. Um, I know. Cremate me, don't bury me. What did I say last time? Oh, last week? You're ruining it. <laughs> Where would you like to be cremated? Maybe you like your ashes. Sprinkled. Thank you. Um, Just quickly, <laughs> quicker. Olympic Park. No way that is where no? you want your ashes sprinkled. <laughs> you said quick and you got me, man. I was just Olympic running around and you're on It's your not ashes. even called that. Elizabeth London Stadium. Elizabeth Stadium, which was the where I used to do my athletics as a, you know, the borough. That's it. That, that's, I, feel, oh, I still think that's stinks. <laughs> what? You're that's not even a champion, athlete. rude boy. Yeah, but man, can't. What about, what about like across Enfield? That's where it is. That's their main running nah, track. But like, Enfield Town play now. Yeah, but like, I'm, talking, I'm talking more high street. No, no Enfield Town. Olympic, uh, Queen Elizabeth. What about Florida? It wasn't Disney. Just where you yeah, want to be, yeah, yeah. yeah. I tell you what, I do want to get. There's, there's a little thing they do yeah, yeah. where you can get your name engraved on the concrete. Yeah, and it stays there. Stones, yeah, yeah. 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 I do I want to get that done. Want, yeah. Bury me in Disneyland. Bury me in Disney. Oh, we're getting there with this intro. Okay. Bury me in Disneyland. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Go on. And, and last but not least, Steve and the Madman. Yes. And you know what they say? Yeah. Bury me in Disneyland. Epstein. Oh, wow. <laughs> you dickhead. You set me up. You set me up. Crazy. That's how. It's, he's not even dead, you know. Bury, Bury me in Disneyland. Bury me in Disneyland. It's wild. <laughs> Bury me in Disneyland. What? I said, Bury him there. You know who else wants to get buried in Disneyland? <laughs> Gary Bloody Clear. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, <laughs> set me up, man. <laughs> Bury me, <laughs> <in> <laughs> <Disneyland>. <laughs> me in Disneyland is crazy. crazy. Mother. Crazy. Nah, bro. Bury you in a Olympic. Snapchat headquarters, he said. Olympic, Olympic Boys, Park, bro. Only four managers oh, God. Uh, got votes and didn't make our top 10. Is that? Is it? Only four. Oh, I got one, definitely. But is what it is, though, man. Three managers in our top 10 were not managers of Premier League teams at the beginning of the season. Oh, wow. This list has character. I know, I know, I know their managers. This list is charming. I know their managers too. But we're going to start with the managers who got votes who didn't make the top 10. This first one, he can explain it to you. He gave me a great reason, so don't worry. He can explain it to you. With a ninth place vote, Lippy went with Javi Grazia. God, we got the same name. <laughs> <laughs> same. That's, if there was a manager called... George, Jordy, <laughs> Zach, <laughs> Miles, Miles Jones. It's true. No, you don't know what I'll imagine so. No, that's fair. And who did he used to be assistant for or something? I don't know about that. He managed Watford though. Watford. To the, to the, um, when they went to the FA Cup, innit? FA Cup. I don't know. Semi final. You're looking for too much now. Let, let me go, let me go, Lippy, man. It's when they had Dennis. So I'm trying, he trying to hold he his t shirt. He found Dennis. He, he so I'm trying to hold his t shirt. He scouted Dennis <laughs> and he found the Brazilian. What? He found Richard. Yeah. Steve O gave a ninth place vote to his old mucker, Dean Smith. Makes sense. Come on, man. 
Uh, no, do you know what? I no, like the story. Let him say it. I like the story. Go on, give me the story. What? Where'd you meet? Dean was, in fact, I got. Listen, Dean was my old skipper, Smudge. Yeah. Um, but the story that that probably Tigo remembers when I didn't, I had a bit of a chip on my shoulder with him, being my bonnet, is because on my debut, I was playing a nine. I was marking a guy called Lee Cook. He ended up playing for QPR on the wing. Uh, Michael Reddy and Jonathan Parkin. That was their front three, right? At that level as well, they're at York. Making my debut, I'm playing a 10, doing everything right, cleaning up. Dean gets sent off. <laughs> it's backs against the wall. We end up losing. We was 1-0 up. We lost 2-1. They never really you can make changes with a team that loses. I didn't start the next game. How long um, were you down to 10? Oh, from the first half, mate. Early doors, Smudge got sent off. I'd have to check, but it was early. Backs against the wall. We kept it out, out, out. And then they just, I think, parking, won a ball, beat me in the air, which is gonna. Do you think Steve wants to tell the other story about Dean Smith or does he want to leave it there? Yeah, what's the other one? No, 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 the other one is just, that's the one where I hated him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the other one is just, Dean's my guy, bro. Oh, no. What, oh, <laughs> so he does want to tell the other one. That's fine. When, because obviously Dean Smith, Managed one of your best friends for a few years. And oh you said, my, oh my to me. God, there's another one. Yes, yes, there we yes. Go. So I'm doing all of that, all of that, and talking about Smudge. Yeah, my, he's my guy. I said, uh, I said to Henry Lansbury, who's at Villa, I said, Hey, I said, tell Dean I said hello, innit? Yeah. He goes into Dean. He says, Yeah, St Steve or Kevin, whatever he called me, said hello. He went, Who? <laughs> but he was mucking around. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, of course he, he was. He was mucking around. He knows who I am. I sign autographs for his kids now, bro. Don't piss me off. But um, autographs. Yeah. <laughs> Bury me in Disneyland. Nostalgia. I'm old school. Bury me in Disneyland. You mean bury me in Never Never Land? It's crazy. <laughs> All right, a little bit more seriously. Uh, I had him ninth. Jordy had him tenth. PK had him tenth, and Miles had him tenth. David Moyes. Yeah. I mean, David Moyes is still a top 10 manager. Yeah, I think David Moyes is a top 10. No, nah, there's 10 better gaffers than him now. I don't think so. You can't name 10 better I know gaffers. he's had a bad season, but I don't think so. Read my list. Come on, man. That's, yeah, that's prem pre He said, read my list. I think, he, I think he's had a tough time. I think the West Ham have treated him really badly with the transfers. I think, obviously, a lot's happened upstairs at the, the club. The Europe thing's been difficult for them. Declan Rice, their captain, is on his way out. I'd I think it's a difficult situation for him. And the fact they haven't let him go, means I think they know he's still doing a good job with the mess that they're giving him. I think he's taking West Ham to their level. As not as good this not this season. But when we got to when we were got to yeah, you did really well that. in Europe. Really well in Europe. <laughs> I'm seeing this. So yeah. This. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he took yeah, he took it to, to the a level. Is what yeah, saying. but it's hard man. I'm, yeah, he took he took West Ham to a level where I don't think another manager well another managers can take them beyond that, but he d he nah, he done all right, man. Over exceeded ex expectations. Like. He's a good manager, man. If he gets he's relegated, then man. he's at my top ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, he's yeah, gonna yeah, get yeah, them yeah. relegated though. I think he's got enough. He's he's, he's got enough. He's tight, not, tight. He's not gonna get. He even should even shouldn't have them. And he was, I'll tell you what he's good at, and that like if we're talking just managers, what they're good at, and he's good at going into a team and making them play. Actually, at United, I guess he didn't, did he? What but are you talking no, about? At United, complete. he didn't. But, you but for West say? Ham twice, I've yeah. seen it, and I see it at Everton as well. Um, he, like, he comes in, and you just know how he wants them playing. I think it is fair to delete that Man United season from his record. I think so. I think it's fair. I yeah, think it was the shambles. chaos People of forget that about club that's happened yeah. since, everything we know about that club, and everything no, that was man. being hidden. <laughs> yeah, not me. I'm not, saying, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying he could have got them the title. But I'm just saying, what did he finish? Fifth? Seventh. So okay, so no, it's not as bad. It's bad. See, he made um he made Ferdinand watch Jagielka. No, he didn't. Ferdinand denied that. Yeah, you can you can judge him on that, knowing that he can't really be in charge of a big side like that. Yeah. That that proved that. Yeah. He's, he's at his that. level with West Ham, but even I think he could maybe go higher than West Ham. Where would you take? Where? Him? Nah, not, Arsenal, maybe. not in today's right. football, because he doesn't West play. West Ham's high, you know. Got only place. That's only place. Arsenal. <laughs> West Ham's higher than Lippie, man. Tottenham? Could he do Tottenham? No, no. no. Nah, because they, they want champagne football. They want good football. Nah, I hear you. He's at his You're level, right, man. Actually, He's at, at his level, level, man. I think West Ham might be too high for him. He managed, in, a, in a way. He managed yeah. Anton Griezmann. Back to Everton? West Ham are doing bad. Back to Everton? He shouldn't be here. He should, he should be Everton. Really. Go back to yeah, Everton. Yeah, Everton. 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 Uh, got a sixth place vote from PK and an eighth place vote from Margs. Sean Dyche. Nah. I hear it. Yeah. Nah. He's a top 10 manager in the league. He's not better than I Moyes. Think he's not better than Moyes. I, you uh, know what? That, no, 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 yes, but what he's done, in, I'm not, not talking about now Everton, I'm talking about his whole Premier League career. He's 
top ten from everybody that's there now. He's earned it, man. He can play in the league. He knows this. He knows this stuff, man. You're just saying just because he's not English or whatever, it's not glamorous, bro. Look what he's been playing with the whole time. We just said Moyes. We just said Moyes. He's Scottish. Yeah, but that's different. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest. Nah, he's a boy. relegation. He's like a um. He's a relegation. He's a. I can't rate man. you for that, man. What for putting Dash there? No, I can't rate Dash. Not rate survival. Sean Dash is you know. Sean Dash is good friends with. Mate, Steve had a madman. He'd be happy. What? He'd be happy. He'd be happy to hear this. You know, Sean. Yeah. To what? Be eleventh. <laughs> oh, he's not in. He's not in the top ten. No, he didn't oh, make the list. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Sean. <laughs> you wouldn't be happy to hear this. Guy. I actually, I actually watched that interview, you know, and I found out Sean Dash goes festivals, you know. Yeah, man. Is it? Yeah, yeah, he must. Yeah. I heard he waves off. Yeah. Did you? Did he talk about eating worms? Uh, I asked him about that. And he said he did. I asked him about a lot of the things. Yeah, he did talk about that, but I can't remember what he said. Why <laughs> though? On the Bear Grylls thing. No. And he got a pub in Burnley. He was trying to motivate his players by eating worms. <sighs> what? He's done some crazy stuff. Not top 10, man. Nah, he has to come out for that, oh, yeah. He's not top. All right, so. For yeah. the worms alone. You've yeah, got a weird voice. Worms. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. We just had it. We played well today. Weird voice. It sounds like a quad. But we've, uh, we've made it to our top. We've made it to well, our top 10. Well, Can I just uh, say, if you notice how much, how different life is when the sun's out? Oh, bro, I tell you, I don't want to be here. Yeah. It shows. But we made it to our top 10 in the sunshine. And number 10 on our list was backed sunshine. by Tigo, Jordi, Felix, Greg, Poet, and PK. Jordi had him highest. <laughs> Roy Hodgson. Come on. Where did I have him? <laughs> How old is he? 72? Let's see. Wait, wait, where did I have him? Seventh. Oh, no, fair enough. Boys, no, but that, this, a lot of he's a good manager. This. A lot of people wing this. He's a good, of course. He's a good manager, but come on. You know well, you give me the same energy. Give the same. Give it. Sean do, do you know energy. what I rate most about Roy Hodgson? Because obviously he's had a career into Milan manager, Switzerland manager, uh, Fulham Europa League that Blackburn. run. Um, good job. He's, West Brom. Uh, Crystal Palace did a good job all that time. West England. Brom, England. Like he's had a great career, right? But my, the thing I rate him for most because of recency bias is that he got let go by a Crystal Palace, retired. And Petro Vieira came in. They bought some young, sexy players and all that. Zaha was like, as soon as Vieira came, he was like, I can't believe we're finally playing ball. Rare, rare, rare. And basically <laughs> saying when it was Hodgson, it was just long balls and it was just, I, I didn't enjoy it. But then when he came back, he clearly had like watched that Palace team for that period of time and went, oh, I see what I can do. I see what Eze will do. I see what Elise can do. And he came in and, and he just went, he didn't go, let me go play like I played 18 months ago. He said, I'm going to play like the squad they got now. And they've been class. Like they've, their form's been crazy. And I think that's a sign of an adaptable manager. The oldest manager in the league, a man who technically shouldn't have been coaching during COVID because he was so old, he should have been shielding. He, like. he came and adapted to young, exciting, creative players that he, granted he didn't have, but who knows if he wanted them. And put, put Palace, who were heading downhill, in a position where now there's no, there's no talk about relegation. I rate that a lot. Eze's looking so good as well. Um, I think, and, uh, honestly, Rosen. everything you said, T, is why I put him seventh. But to, to be honest with you, know when you get to like eighth and ninth, I just go like that sometimes. Roy Hudson. Roy Hudson, man. We're not going to start disrespecting Roy Hudson. <laughs> Hudson's trash, man. Because if Sean Dyche was there and Roy Hudson was the other way around, I wouldn't even be mad at it. No, I would. I would. Did he come in at a perfect time for Crystal Palace? The results are looking like he's doing better than he is because under Vieira, he had some tough fixtures. Yeah, but they, they weren't they weren't scoring. No, I'm just asking. I'm just, they weren't creating chances. No, I'm just saying. No, of course, of course, the fixtures have been easier. But yeah, but definitely. Bro, they hadn't won all year. If you're not scoring, but he's goals, drawn against some of the top teams. Some of the top, top six, eight bro, teams. You're not won all 2023, bro. You're not won all year. That's no, but I'm saying they, maybe they could have gave Vieira a bit more time. Time to do what? Not win for the rest of the year. Yeah, but yeah, but if Vieira, see, there was no. It didn't look if good. You seen that, if you seen that results against some of the tough tougher teams, first in the half league, of the season. Vieira wasn't playing Eze I'm, for whatever reason. Some of the oh, he wasn't. Some of the results, even against even in December, like November. Obviously, granted, they wasn't scoring goals. They wasn't scoring goals. Yes, but he's got a few good results against some of the top. Yeah, teams. I would give him a chance. You can't stay up. You can't stay up if you're not scoring goals. And he and he. Yeah, but we now knew he, he had he bad wrote strikers. The storm, though. He wrote the storm. Well, no, he didn't. He got fired. Yeah, but he wrote the storm as storm well as he could down. Yeah, but it, he wrote the storm as <laughs> he well as he, Yeah, but he wrote the storm no, as well as he could possibly. Here. You see the games and that, they, they you see the him. games that Hodgson won as they scored in them. I'm just making a case. No, man. The case ain't no, there. But Hodgson's first game was five one away from home. Five one away from home, and they had not even scoring. They even got Edward to score. I don't even know how that happened. And then the second game. I'm making a case for you. New manager coming in always shakes. I know, but not a five one away from home. And also, we've seen we've seen the new manager bounce like a lot of times this season. But it doesn't usually result in what five one He's away, three, three two nil row. beat Leicester as well. Like three wins in a row, it's a big, it's a big thing. And I think they lost to um, Brighton, 
which they don't normally do. I Even just, away, they don't normally do that. I just do don't that. personally think Roy, Roy Hodgson's a top 10 manager in the Premier League right now. No, I don't think so. He's got think. respect, boys, isn't it? He forever. might be when he gets a bit older. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, he's yeah. Not right now, no. But he's, he's picked up good results against teams that he should be beating. I think Patrick Vieira probably could have got those results even if... No way. When you, no when you score way. one goal in five, bro, it's tough. It's tough. I, I, I'm a, I liked Vieira. But, but do you what, think Roy would have been getting the them results five. against... Arsenal, City, Brentford, yeah. Brighton. Where would have started Eze? Where's got experience, you know, man? Liverpool, Brentford, team, Brighton, that, that run Arsenal, that Vieira had City. Was tough. Is, I get it, but if you're, Man watching, United, if you're watching them and you're back. seeing a team that isn't creating chances and you're looking at you know, someone like uh, yeah, Wilfred Zaha walking around being like, this you... ain't happening. We ain't creating chances. It doesn't matter who we're playing against. We can't they create chances. They've got to look at themselves, them players, because there's a yeah. few times them players have let, te- that let managers down. I don't think there are. Well, how I many mean, times are they? Well, every Hodgson's time been there ages. Uh, uh, so who was before um, Vieira Hodgson? Yeah. 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 Who was before Hodgson? Wow. Did you make your list, this guy? No. Okay, thank God. Go- the greatest sign of a manager is adaptability. Through eras, through trends, through what you could do during a season. Patrick Vieira did not show adaptability. Unfortunately, I, w- I want him to be a good manager. I thought he was good first season. Roy Hodgson has shown adaptability and he's completely changed the style of football he was playing. But the one time it got a little bit time. tough and he, he grinded out one or two results, they sacked him. Now that they've, he's got results or he's playing against teams that he can beat. Roy, Roy Hodgson's always got a job, you know. I'm thinking know, about it. You can't, actually, now Roy Hodgson's always got, he was Liverpool manager at one point. He's always got a job, fam. And you know, there's a lot of managers that but have been he always away for gets a while. the sack, mate. West Brom, he left to go to England. Yeah, 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 he did. He did, he did. Oh, before, did. I've just remembered this. Um, Sam Allardyce at Palace. Yeah, and I feel, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's, I, I tell you, it was Ayu. It's him I see. It's like three managers I've seen where it's like, this guy is he really looks good. good under Hodgson. He looks good all the time under every manager he's looked good at in, in at pay, times, you know what I mean? And then it's like, w- what's happened now, bruv? You're actually a good player. And I look through the whole team and they're all good Steve at Hall. times. We can move on from Ray Hodgson. Yeah, now. yeah. Number nine on our list was voted for by Tigo Jordi. Lippy had him highest. Felix, Greg, Poet, Margs, Stevo, and Miles. Marco Silva. Cold. I really had nine, and I was like, you know what? This is what I believe. It weren't no like just chucking. I, I had only had nine, and then with that one, I threw him in. I wish I threw Moyes in now, to be honest with you. But Silva, again, I see him when he's been through that bad spell at Hull. I'm just like, Everton. Mm, it's terrible. Everton. And Hull, no? Hull think, was good. I think Hull got him to move to Watford and then Watford got him to move to Everton and he stunk up at Everton, got sacked. He stunk, went to he stunk twice, man. I was, cause I was surprised mm-hmm. at Everton, no? This Fulham team's impressive. I think it's significant that... Um, they have top 10, no? Where are they? Eight for, how no? long is his ban? I never found out how long his ban was. Yeah. What do you get mad for? Um, they, they all batted up the ref. <laughs> Quality. Yeah, he's, he's got a weird career, though, isn't it? Because he's like he's that, like Javi Gracia. You just think, oh, he's he's in charge now. Like he's, it's like chairman. They don't have that many numbers to call. They're just like, all right, Marco when, Silva. When I see that, I'm like, I wonder what these guys are doing. And I think that about even Smudge, Dean Smith, and I'm like, what are they doing to win in these interviews? Because Sean Dash was t- talking about the interview. When you go there, you tell him what you want, and you you put up your best. Like, look, like a job interview, but like, like, what are these guys doing that's getting them these jobs? Like, because there's a few, Gratz, Gracie or whatever his they'll name is. They'll be co-signs, I reckon. Might be a Blue Magic thing. Like, they'll take the lower fee. I don't know. Chairman would rather stay in the league than pay less money. I just think, I think it's more co-signs. You phone a few people and you go, all right, what do you think? Javi Gracia, they go, you know what? He's good and he'll get the best out of this guy and he'll get the best out of this guy. And I think um, Marco Silva's just a guy that consistently has shown that he can get good mid-level European players to make them perform. higher level. Did he, what's his uh, history like? Like, has he been a coach somewhere? Yeah, and he was at Olympiacos, he was at Sporting, but he's never ha- been anywhere very long. No, he you hasn't. Know, that's very short, very interesting. short. Interesting, that's career. interesting. <laughs> did he have Robertson at Hull? I think he did, you know. Nah. I think Ooh. he did. Hull in 2017. I think he did, you know. He had, Mc- he had Maguire too. That's what I was going to say, yeah. That was a good hole. Number eight on our list was voted for by everybody. Uh, Lippy had him highest. <laughs> Thomas Frank. I like Carl. Thomas a lot, man. Carl. He's all right, man. I like Carl. what he's done with that team. Brentford look like they just coached well, man. They're not, they're not consistent, though. Special shout Hard out to, break down, man. to Justin Cochran. We spoke about him on the show before my cousin. Have we? We have. 
<laughs> what? We have spoke about I've Justin. Never we heard talked that about name. the England under 17s. He won the World Cup with him. We spoke about him. And his man United under 23. We spoke about him last season. 100%. Kay. But anyway. <laughs> um, shout out to him. Um, but he's gone there and he's Brentford's coach now. So you're saying about coaching. I think it's important yeah, to mention they, that. They employ great coaches all the way through the system. We did speak about him. Yeah, we have spoke about him yeah, many times. He's Mike's friend, isn't it? They're not um, a consistent outfit, Brentford, you know. I thought they, they were. They are they or they're are. not, you said? They're not. Oh, you don't think so? I think they no, are. Oh, yeah. they're not. I think, like, what are you saying, what? Because the results? Yeah, that's all I can base it off. <laughs> <laughs> Bruv, no, because you're gonna, you're, they're in a the league, bro, against good teams yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like, it's a hard league. You're going you're gonna to lose. You're going to drop points. But them, they give you pretty much, like, they don't never mail it in. You kind of know, you, you know what you're going to get from them. They are pretty consistent. Yeah, they're above Chelsea. You know that sort five. of second tier of teams in the Premier League? They're definitely one of the best teams within that if you include I'll like, them. I'll rate them. Don't get me wrong. You know you're uh, going to get with them. Yeah, you know Brentford are good. Play, you know, like, moment, yeah. they get what I'm trying to say all Very the time. Very difficult. No, but I hear you saying against. that, but the Brentford we got second game round, I, I, I can't believe what I saw. The Brentford against Wolves the other day as well was bad. Rico Henry, I've never seen him well, look Brentford, like that. Brentford away is a fixture everybody looks at and think, mm, it's a bit tough. That's tough. It's a bit tough. You don't know if they're getting three points. You know really and truly. With them as well, it seems like. Again, what happens? You they've they've had a team where they're playing at their peak. Players are playing at their peak. Peak. You drop off a little bit, and this is what you're getting. It seems like they've hit their, their plateau. level. Yeah. How long has he been there? A minute, man. He took them up. Five years. Yeah. That. Bro, they've gone for a lot of players as well. Wasn't yeah. so he must have had Watkins. Yeah. So he's had to yeah, at least Ra- adapt ben to Rama. so many different situations. Ben Rama. More pay. No more pay. They would have to consistently adapt and then make the team progressively better as well. So Good I manager. think that's. Well, I think that's a lot. Uh, yeah. Obviously, when it comes to transfers. Brentford have a good structure there. I don't think Thomas Frank's out there phoning people up going, let's go down to Northampton and find Ivan Tony. Someone else is doing that. They're finding the right replacements or whatever. But he, I don't think he played football. He played the amateur. He did oh, he never played yeah, you could tell by his touch. Well, I remember when they, lost, <laughs> when they lost in the playoff final before the year before they came up, there was a point I saw a, a ball come to him in the warm-up and he kicked it off. I said, I've never... On television, someone kick a ball like that. It's not half time. It's not hit the crossbar and win five hundred pound. One of the worst pieces of technique I've ever seen. But he knows his knows his. He knows his stuff, though. He knows his stuff. Yeah. Good money. I man. think Josie Mourinho's got better technique than Thomas Frank, but I would like to see that. I've seen Josie on a five side game. It was terrible. It's it terrible. It's terrible. I saw Frank Lampard. I know we're gonna talk. A, he had very good talk about him. He's very great. He couldn't do kick ups. On the, I was watching him on Sky News today. He was struggling to do kick ups. Then he kicked it up. And wanted to do the touch where it hits your toe and bounces up. How does he? He bounced. This is today. Wow. That stinks. Who's the left back? Andy. At, like, Andy Myers. <laughs> Andy Myers. Um, Ashley, Ashley him, Cole. Yeah. There was like another one that was in his team as well. He's obviously got his team back together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Thomas Frank. Um, the question with Thomas Frank will always be um, how much of it is just the structure, the really good coaching system they've got over there. And uh, could he do it somewhere else? Five years though. And yeah, he's, no, he's, quality, he's, he's been done a part great of job. Build, yeah. To keep a job seems very difficult these days. So for him to be in there in five years, Boys, you're you gonna don't hate really get his name linked. You're do gonna you? hate me. Maybe. West Ham manager. Spurs. Spurs. Let's move on to number seven on our list. Now this this is the the most divisive coach um, in the top ten because he's the only one outside of the bottom two who has people that didn't vote for him at all. So. Tigo, Jordi, and PK did not put him in their list. Lippy, Felix, Greg, Poet, Margs, Steve-O, and Miles did. Oh, we're outnumbered. Eddie Howe. Yeah, I've got to rate him. You know, top 10. Years ago. 100%. I, before we got the tin tack at Bournemouth, yeah. yeah, I just thought he was like a sure thing. I had two teams I wanted him to go to. One was international. England. And then the other one was um, England, and the other one was Arsenal. Hmm? I, I thought Arsenal was good. I thought that was it for him, but then he got the sack, and I was like, oh, maybe he's not that great. Then now he's showing it. I don't know, man. That job he done at Bournemouth was did. was ridiculous. Not just in the Prem, like just the whole his whole tenure. You get me? Like he's a he's a very good he's a very good coach. He just didn't replace the players in the end. Like towards the end, some of the boys were. A Remember little he what left. Thomas did though. He left. He left, to, he left to go to Burnley. Never forget that. <laughs> yeah, that stunk as well. Should that stinked. That. that stinked. That stunk. I think once he gets to the end of this season, where, where Newcastle finish, that's when I'll decide if that he is a top 10 manager. And yeah, obviously I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. I'm just saying that to me is a big deciding factor. Like what you did with Bournemouth five years ago, I get it. But like there's a manager at Bournemouth now that is doing a great job, who is nowhere near my top 10. Yeah, but Dan Manor was in kind of a bit of a disarray up there and he got them together so, and, they're, and they're performing at a high level at the top end of the team. Yeah. So you get me? They need they needed him. Where they finish now, 
is still like I get it. Oh, he's up there. He's competing. This is fantastic. The guy in Europa. They fin- okay, but if they don't finish in Europa, he stinks. I think they will, though, man. I think they will. It's safe to say they will. Yeah, that, that's, that's there's horrible. a good chance they can not do that. Nah, I think they'll, they'll make it. Newcastle. I ain't seen cool, the I seen their fixtures. I don't know, but from what I've seen there's for the season, pressing nah. behind and Brighton are there, Mando Liverpool are there. Do you know what? To be fair, fresh. They're still top four. They ain't fresh. You do, you can't let that result. You can't do that. At a point, the man was. Remember, they'll say, "Oh, we have to worry about them." Like. We ain't worried about no, that was just to wind you up. We ain't worried I about hate you, when Eddie Howe went to Newcastle, though, though, it, man. when he went to Newcastle, wasn't it meant to be like an end to the end of the season thing, like a, a short term contract, and then they, no, it was always going to be a long term. Wise, that was what that's what people were saying, but that's the, that wasn't that because wasn't because the money came up. in. They thought okay, they're going to hold get the fort, hold the fort. They got to let him frass, innit? He has to lose. He has to lose. The a job. lot of people thought. Remember, there's other gaffers available. A lot of people thought they're doing the stopgap thing. Eddie Howe in the Premier League has had struggles in the final stages of a season right now he's got Brighton Liverpool and Tottenham on his heels if he comes out of that fifth okay you've done a good job you're my tenth best if you come out of that fourth top six come out of that third different conversation but if you finish that outside of the European places you're like Moyes you're a joke. <laughs> with all that money that spent with stick. those players they spent stick. bread bro. yeah there's no stick. chance the way that the way that they've gone the way that they like don't concede goals well, obviously, they didn't get that together. Day, yeah. yeah, but to drop out of Europe would be that's a, that's total capit- cap- capitulation. Like that's who deserves anything we say about him exactly. <laughs> after that. Exactly. But I do like him. I like, like him. A very nice Future man. England manager. Probably, probably. Future Arsenal manager, man. He's gonna get it back but on I track. I wanted man. him. But He's gonna Arteta, get it back on track. long term, man. Long term. He's good, but you're looking you look at this list where 10 managers have lost their jobs this year. Nah, I hear you, but I'll tell you, trust me, it's different. I'm surprised he's so high. Who? Eddie Howe? No, I'll tell you. You don't know where he is? Yeah, but you ain't said his name yet. You <laughs> 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 know what I'm saying? Number six on our list, voted for by everybody. Poet had him highest, which is probably a bit cheeky. Unai Emery. Mm-hmm. I think he's not I a bad I spoke about manager. him last week, man. I'm just like, um, he's not a bad manager at all, good, man. Yeah. He's wicked. He just wasn't right for Arsenal. Yeah. It was, it was just a bad time. time for Arsenal fans. It was just a bad time. We were in a weird place. That's why I just get him out. He promised you lot, instead of rebuilding something, he said, I'll get you top four. And then he didn't. And then Arteta came in and went, shouldn't have done that. You probably should have rebuilt. But he could have got you top four. He was a game away. I remember there was a stage when he first come in and they were doing okay at Arsenal. Um, they showed you how quick he sort of gets the ball from the back to the front. They went into ah. it like technically, and I was like, I don't "Okay, remember that. yeah, no, 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 very They're direct good. fullbacks." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do remember that I still. I remember being mad bad. No, do you remember? No, what, it wasn't that, bad. It was a game where it we played bad. Leicester City, and Ozil was the first going game of the season. Nuts, bro! The first game of the season, we won four three. The year he lost his job, it got ugly at Arsenal, and it shouldn't like because it wasn't top four. He needed top four to it for it to make sense, and you had that whole Nicolas Pepe situation. Yeah, that's what it is, man. That's how it is. But Arsenal didn't need to finish top four. They needed to finish eighth. They needed to rebuild. They needed to break it all down. That's clear That's now. That's sound. obvious now. It needed to be bad in order for it to get good type of thing. Doesn't seem like much of a, a man that's got good like discipline. Like he doesn't seem like a disciplinarian. No, nah. like he gets a hold of his team. No, nah, I think he is, man. I think I think again, that's just the situation Arsenal were in. Pierre Emerick Abamyang, uh Granite Xhaka, Musta- like a lot of players with personalities that you you Struggles to just jump into and be like, "Cool, now nah, I'm in charge." A, this, this is probably a bad argument to defend my point, but PSG was the same. Nah, but you know what it is? He came in. He's trying to like respect the thing. He's trying to like. It's like he respects the fact that players think he's bigger than him, so he's kind of like, "Yeah, like do your thing, kind of car." Yeah, man. Because you're right. At PSG, it weren't. You see him on the side. He's like mad clapping and that. It's like he's a, almost like a fan of his players. That. Like. But everyone has that problem at PSG, though. Everyone has that. You see. We, when Martinez done all that thing at the World Cup and you remember when he come back and there was going to be a discipline, did he, what happened with that? Did he discipline him? I remember he said no, he was No, he didn't discipline him. He just said, oh, it's not, I'm certain I'm happy about it. I'll talk to him. Nothing happened. You no. can't discipline him for that. Yeah, he's not even on his watch. Discipline me for winning World Cup? Oh my God. <laughs> watch, watch what I do back. That doesn't feel right. <laughs> I think, yeah, he came in Villa, um, trusted Tyron Mings again after what Gerard had kind of rattled Tyron Mings' confidence. He kind of let them know this Coutinho thing. I don't know what you were thinking here, which yeah. which was necessary. Gerard had made them pump a decent amount of money into believing Coutinho was a thing. And uh, he, obviously you see what Ollie Watkins has done since uh, Unai Emery's come in. And there was- That's working. He was linked with Arsenal a lot a it's few years easy. ago. Well, he's going to play for us one day, man. Yeah. No more drink. 
He's not from Ukraine. Yeah, he's coming, man. 2026. He's a player. 2026. <laughs> European <laughs> League specialist as well, right? Went to a lot of finals. Even went to one with Arsenal. Three on a, he, won, he, won three on, he won three on a bounce. Then he um, went he, Villarreal and then won. He beat us. Yeah, he beat, beat us Man in the United final. In the on Pence. Sensational. Seville. Seville, yeah. He had Cochrane playing centre midfield. Crazy. Cold. That was the same season we threw away the nah, top he's four. He's a right? tournament manager and a mad thing. He's not even just a tournament manager. Look what he's doing with Aston Villa. He's making Aston Villa a real like Watkins is showing great yeah, form. We were just too high level. Like what we was trying to ask him to do, he's not capable. But no, Villa's he's, perfect. I just genuinely think he said, "I can get you top four. And Arteta said, "Don't think about top four. So they went with Unai Emery because he said he get top four. It was one point away, whatever it was that last. Like you, you crumbled that like, three games before the end of the season. You could have got top four under Unai Emery, he's and then you're having a different conversation. He finished fifth. And then because the team needed to be broken down, because when because when Arteta comes in, who's he who's he really arguing with? Ozil, Abamyang, Pepe, like, like not really. I think Laka and him got on. I just think the personalities that were in that team that Emery was like, I'll drive them to top four. He's never. They should never. They should. They should have been. Like they should have been playing Luis, for life bro. after them straight away. Who knows what he could have been at Arsenal? But also, who knows if he is a rebuild manager? When Emery had, when you like had Emery, well, I saw you had like Kia Drakkin and them man, and what Usman over them man, yeah, and Smith Lintat, Smith Lintat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So there's a mess upstairs. There's a mess upstairs too. Oh my Who's the other guy? Sanelli or something. Oh, that's that's who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, Ralph Sanelli. Yeah, man, Ralph Sanelli. So who knows what he could have been at Arsenal? But ultimately. He did a decent job. He got it worked fifth, out for both got parties, got, man. Got to the European final. Should have got top four. It's worked out for both parties, man. He's doing the thing at Aston nah, Villa. I think, I'd think he'd probably rather be at Arsenal. No, nah, that's nah, worked out for both. He's got a good job at Aston Villa doing well. And we've got a good manager now. So Yeah, I don't think it worked out for and both And he got parties. another cup in between. Got another trophy. <laughs> I don't think it worked out for both parties, no. Well, yeah, definitely not. Number five on our list was voted for by everybody. Steve-O and Miles had him lowest and PK. Felix had him first. Lippi had him third. Roberto De Zerbi. Felix had him first, yeah. I hear it, but it's no. very early doors. But he is a bit of a wonder kid. Yeah, he is. He's cold, isn't it? He shows a bit too much emotion, though, man. He's a bit. He's, he shows. There's a bit... something wrong. Yeah. He's right. Why? What? He. That I think he's got a temper problem. Yes. Yeah. His temper and is mad. I don't think he's a man that stays at clubs long. He might have that Conte about him. Is he Italian? He doesn't yeah, stay. Of course, he's out. But there's, there's a load of different reasons as to why he doesn't stay. Okay, clubs. cool. But you oh. just landed. You just landed at Brighton, and you got rid of their best player. Cool, it worked. But imagine it didn't. Then you dropped um, your top keeper. Cool, it worked. But imagine it didn't. It like, did. It did though, George. No, it did. It did. But this, this, can't this, imagine it this temper stuff. Like it, when it doesn't work, you're gonna get in trouble. Bro, for that. forget but that. All yeah. top gaffers have to do that. Brighton, yeah. Bright, Brighton were decent, yeah. On, on the Potter, yeah. And regardless, they struggled oh, for they, the team good? They, they struggled. They struggled for goals and all that, yeah. But out of like the top teams, people know that Brighton played good football and stuff like that, yeah. Like whatever, yeah. He's gone there and improved on it. Like they're scoring goals. He's improved on I'm a not decent team. He's I made them. They was already decent, like footballing wise. Potter done good over there. He improved on it and. Ma- they just look totally. They look cold. They look bro. dangerous, bro. Like they look dangerous. I've seen look, they, what they were done. It was Liverpool game. Free free, yeah. What they done to Liverpool? I ain't seen. I ain't seen no one do that. I ain't seen no one do that to Liverpool. I know they didn't win it. Fair play, but I'm not knocking him. I'm not knocking him tactically though. But like when he when he linked up with who's who's um this guy that's managing Spurs right now and he had his finger in his face like from the from you the handshake. Have, yeah, but they those who have beef though, is it? Yeah, but also I think a lot of his behavior, if you're if you're Pep or if you're Klopp, if you're a Champions League manager, most referees in the FA, I think they'll let you get away with it. Okay. I think when you're a Brighton manager and maybe Tottenham's no, maybe caretaker manager, they're a yeah, bit yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this is but your setting a bad example. A bit on the, maybe that's on not, the not allowing it. I just feel like at some point, that is going to g- bite him in his ass. Yeah, but I see top gaffers, Arteta's had to make sacrifices of players that you would deem like, what are you doing? Get rid of him. Ferguson used to do it. Everyone does that. Takes away like if a player's mucking about, get rid of him. I've said that story before. I don't know if it was here or on wherever, but he, when he was at Shakhtar, Mudric was on the way out. He got him, put his arms around him. He was him. on his way out. I think he was like, he was never going to be near the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he got his arms around him, said, look, I'm giving you this chance. I mean, if you can't play under me, the way that I'm going to sort of baby, you ain't going to go nowhere, boys. So this look, is your chance. You look at what he did at Sassuolo. He, like, a few stars came from that Sassuolo team as well. In, in Italy, had a reputation like this guy plays more European style than Italian style. And a lot of young coaches in Italy think 
this is like uh, that the next generation of Italian coaches will probably learn as much from De Zerbi as they do from anybody else and he's already changed tactically the Premier League Pep co-signed him man Pep's copied him Pep, yeah, Pep's Pep co-signed copied him. him this four centre back Pep thing, said this guy's changed football in England yeah and if you look at the, you look at the way Pep's playing now it's a lot to do with what Brighton are doing in defence and What's how that they play out uh, I don't know what I call it possession counter attack I don't know what it's called I hate it but it's based on it's basically cold. drawing it's just like, yeah. uh, drawing the press and playing through the press. I don't like where we might be headed with it though. No, I don't like Yeah, it. no, it's gonna when like less quality sides get hold of this football. Ah, it's gonna be horrible. Well, it's, well what's worse is like basically the whole premise is strikers press centre backs, right? And then they play through that and then there's the game's open. What what happens when teams stop pressing strikers? A lot. A yeah, go on, go on, you have the ball. A, and a lot less goals, yeah, yeah. Go on, a lot less transitions. But, but but the way they play, they create their own transitions. It's like they're counter-attacking when they have the ball. It's nuts. But if 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 it becomes too popular, we're in, we're in trouble in the Premier League. Yeah, it's going to look ugly. It's going to happen. Yeah. That's what tactics do, though. It is. It is. It it is. Cycles. The five at the back. Yeah, Conte. Conte. And then everyone did it. And it but that's Pep, it. Pep, obviously, we'll get to him, but he'll figure out how to be, break his own puzzle. And then once he figures out how to break his own puzzle, he'll show the rest of the league one. how to break yeah. that puzzle and then it'll be open season again. Premier League Look is forward to it. it's alive in that I way. I wonder who Pep copied first then. Right card. But yeah, there's there's every quality, man. Uh, does he stay at Brighton? One more year. One more year. Yeah, it's, I was about to say it again. He'll go to Europe. Yeah, they hit he'll Europe. Go he's got to stay. go Europe with them. Madrid. Because he only left... Ch- well, that's Athletical. not a bad shout. Athletical. No. Real well, Madrid. If he goes, the other guy goes Brazil. It could happen, Serious. you know. I'm uh, not gonna lie, bro. Madrid. Do you think he's ready for Madrid? I don't know if he's ready, but they that... do high things, though. You know, who is ready they'll for Madrid? They'll do the high thing straight away. Run, run out of I reckon they'll do it still. But he, he could work in Spain. Caccio Ero is what they said his football was in Italy. Caccio Ero, which is uh, it's a European style football, basically. I'm try to find out on FM. Number four on our list was voted for by everybody again. And you know who he is when I say Lippy and Marks had him in completely opposite ends of their votes. And I said this to Marks earlier. These two have actually Why been beefing. These man? two have been beefing <laughs> with each other. It could, <laughs> your hands. it could be one of two people. But these two's lists have been beefing all season. It's been a secret beef that only exists in a spreadsheet. But these two have been beefing each other all season. I've got I've won, I've won. Number four on our well, list. Only because you, 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 you are dominated. You are dominated. Well, number. Yeah, number, but at number. That's McCall, McCall McCall why so Arsenal fans. Are you going to let me announce? Number four on our list. Mick Eric Ten Hag. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, he was about to never come through again. He was about to go. That's, a man, that's a man with titles. That's just bec- that's literally just because of like there's so many Arsenal awesome because percent. of life. Man no. with titles, a man that's been Euro- Champions no, no, League. No, no, let them go. Let this is a champion. Let them go. Let them this go. This is a champion. Let a man who's playing Champions League football week in week out, won leagues. This season, he's won something already. He shouldn't be a, a below Arteta. That's crazy. <laughs> Nippy's not having it. Go on. Do so you think he's taking your in club to the direction that you need to you need to be doing? What? <laughs> taking your in club? Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it doesn't make sense because. Mark, say next question. Sense. That is the next question. Say next question, question Mox. Next question. How do you feel? How do you feel about um, Ten Hag copying the blueprint that I told you you can have from us? <laughs> he has not. Mark, <laughs> next say question. next question, Mox. Next, next, next question. question. Next question. Why well, can't Lippy do it? All I'm saying is. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mox, tap him. <laughs> nah. Go on then. Go on then. One nah. more question. Go no, on. One more. Last one. Is he better than Arteta? <laughs> <laughs> I want to yes, know that. I want to know that. I want to know that. I want to know, know that. Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, I was oh, getting there. That no, was good. I was getting no, there. It's a slow build, but we it's get there. Come just on, just, 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 just off experience, yeah, and you're talking about their careers, yeah. Just talking about managers, yeah. I, I get it. He only just come to the Premier League, yeah. But just as gaffers, Arteta's too inexperienced. He's done well. He's doing well. Don't get me wrong. And obviously, if he wins the league this year, that's catapulting him into different... Levels. Status first. Come Levels, on. cool. But he hasn't done it yet. Just I like just, that word, yeah. Just as comparisons, as gaffers, as managers in world football, Eric Ten Hag is a better manager than Mikel Arteta. Leaps, I would say. Leaps and bounds. I think, this, bro, season, I boys, think this is the boys. season that it gets rubbed out. They're finally Hundreds. in the same place. <laughs> it may yeah, and you see different. what's going on. Come yeah. on. They're finally, they're finally in the same place. What, 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 let's, let's set some measurables then. Okay, league positions are measurable. Getting top four would be a way of saying, yes, that's a big improvement on what you were last year that puts him in that stratosphere third place again puts him higher but like let's talk about player improvements yes what, what impacts do you think 
signal that no, that's, he's, that's he's better than Arteta or he's a great manager at Man United so far this season? Well, player improvements. Um, Rashford, I think, just with the obviously Rashford scored a few goals, but consistency looks like a totally different person. Rashford, hundred um, percent. What he done with Van Bissaka was called to take him out of the team and teach this boy how to play football. All of us, that's a different man. I He's, saw clips on Twitter and he was learning how to play football on his own. Remember that in the summer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No word, wrong. word. Yeah. T goes wrong for that. But go on, nah. go on. Um, yeah, um, Wamba Saka. Short, putting short centre back is definitely. Crazy. Short, putting short centre back. Every, mad. Even you know what? What he still can't play with his feet, yeah. But even like De Gea. Even De Gea's, De Gea's almost back. Like, nah, you get nah, me? You you got, was he joined clean nah, season nah, league? No, 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 no. Ten, Ten Hag has nothing he, to do with De Gea. Is he joined clean season league? Ten Hag Come has, on, man. Ten Hag has nothing to do with Every game you could De actually play this season, you played. We played like 50 something games. Essentially. So every 51. single game. I, have to rate, I rate that, though. Essentially, like. yeah. Every game you have to play, you play. Yeah, Liverpool, Liverpool did that last year in the Champions League and in the title race. But yeah, it's impressive. But next season, that's going to rub yourselves out. You'll finish sixth. So it feels good. I think as well, the thing he's done well is cope with injuries. I mean, Man United, I, I think um, Mourinho said it, Ronaldo said it, Ranić said, said it. it. You lot have got terrible facilities and it does seem to be contributing to poor fitness and, and injury problems. But, you know, Martial, when he's played, has looked very good this year. When he's played. No, but no, but he has looked very good. This is just a fact. Mm. Mm. Um, Jordy, is that my bad there, Jordy? Or Rashford's, <laughs> nah, not yet. Not Rashford's yet. in and we out need a, nine. a little bit, but when he plays, we know how, how good he is. I mean, it's a bit different to... I, the reason I wouldn't compare it to Mikel Arteta is because he came in and spent... How much on Lissandro Martinez? 57. Oh, yeah. How much is Christian Eriksen worth if you were to sign him on a real transfer? No, we've got him on a free. Okay, but okay, but what's his, what's his value? His value is high. 30, 14 million? 30, 40 no, 40 his value would be very high. He Let's, had a heart... He's got a heart attack. He's on the stairs. He's not 30 million. Man, he's 14 million, bro. signed him if he wasn't a... Fir- he then he died in front of everyone. <laughs> Poet was crying, true, bro. You've got to start again, bro. Poet was crying. We was in box park, bro. Po- Poet cried, bro. On God. Did you cry, bro? I was in central London. I was nowhere near this oh, guy, right. bro. He was with me. I was not with you, bro. <laughs> hey, Margs. Margs, don't buckle. Stick to the story, man. No, nah, that's it. So was I, was I with you? Was with, no, no, I was, was, with, with, I was with a beanie. No, he, cried, he cried the next day. It was the next day. It was the next, the next day. day. Yeah, yeah. Get it correct, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you signed, you spent a lot of money on Casemiro. You spent a lot of money on Anthony Martial. Anthony. Anthony, sorry, not Martial. Anthony. Um, yeah, so that's why I wouldn't bother with the Arteta comparison because the money you've me. spent is. I'm not even comparing them. I'm just saying you've got you've got managers in world football <laughs> saying someone who's been plying their trade for for a while, winning leagues, whether it's in other countries or not, and then getting a, a um, debut gap for new and comparing them. Is but where did he win them leagues? Europa League final. Where did he win them leagues? Europa League final. Where did he win them leagues? Europa he's League got final. He's got a, not, he's he got a better manager than Uno Emery. Where did he win Europa them leagues? Europa League final, though. Eredivisie. I love that Uno Emery. That's I can't good. say. It's, I don't <laughs> know. Eredivisie. Who? Ar- Arteta. Yeah, he's not. Well, clearly you've won Eredivisie. Brother, did you see when that man was in yeah, charge of the team? Yeah, there's good evidence. There's good evidence. Like, there's good me. evidence. It's not the same team. He's changed the team. It's Era the same team. That, that makes him better. Exactly. He evidence. finished fourth and fifth and got sacked. I know. My man with the same team finished eighth. It's not. It's not apples. That and was the evidence you needed. It's Arteta not, to finish eighth with them. It's not apples to apples, but there is good evidence. Arteta finished eighth with them and he finished fourth with them. No, but fifth. Oh, fifth. He, got he was on his way to finish it. Guys, <laughs> like Pepe, the flipping. I know it's not Emery's fault or whatever, if you want to say that, but Gundalzi, Gun bare man, He had to get rid of all like of they're, they're gone. They're gone. From that wasn't, the, he didn't sign those players. Yeah, but v- v- regardless, innit? No, I'm not saying he's bad. He's doing a great job. I'm just mean, I'm saying like, I'm saying like literally, I'm saying like literally like. There's yeah, but when you say winning leagues, it's Era de Vise, bro. No, it's you can not have a pur- the great you league, can have a bro. Purple patch. I'm not going to go can... mad because Brendan Rodgers won Celtic League. He's, like, he's, he's a better manager than, Brendan Rodgers is a better manager than Arteta. I'm, cool, man. Cool, forever. This is unfair. He's currently top 10, no, not right now. But in his career, as people, as human beings, of course he's a better manager than Arteta. Why? Wow. That's in the beginning, bro. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not <laughs> progressing. Everyone's better than everyone knew then, bro. Nah, no, bro. Because obviously, you know what it is? Sean he's Dyche's got better than Arteta then. No, nah, forget that, that argument. Forget that argument. Don't get, don't get sidetracked. If you lot had Arteta, you'll be doing better than you are now, bro. Whoa. I don't 100% know. Probably start not. of this season. I don't know, man. Yeah. Brother, you wouldn't have Maleficent and Anthony. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, believe. Yeah, but from the start of the season, you think they would do better if they I had don't believe Definitely, the bro. I don't think Arteta manages them players like that. To get Casemiro, like these things wouldn't That's happen. That's not manager bro. stuff, though. It's yeah, not manager stuff. How's it not, though, bro? You do. It is, man. Hundred. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Like all these, but like, bro, come it's on. It's just man. not managed. So who stuff. did he want that would have saved you lot? Then he saved them. They're third. Why did he save him? Why did he save They're him? They're not comfortably third, though. Like even when you say third, when you take a look at the points, it's like three points separate. But where were you last season? Twelve game in hand. Sixth, seventh. 
I'm saying like they've that, they've jumped they've jumped multiple places this season. So they've improved. Well, then Arteta's jumped multiple just, places. We've as paid well. every game of football available to us. It's not Arteta's first season. It's not Arteta's first season though. No, it's not. You're I get right. I, that's what I, that, and that's what I do give. And he's got a trophy. He's got a trophy in his pocket. He's got time to build. He's got time to build. Spent too much though, man. Since since you lot are obsessed with talking about Mikel Arteta, here's a legit question. Since Michael Arteta has been manager of Arsenal, has he lost 7-0? No. That's not. <laughs> that's bad evidence. It's some evidence. That's bad evidence. He's lost five. I would I would present it in court. All right, has he lost 6-3? Let's give you another chance. I watched, ten, I watched Wenger concede eight. Does that mean Ten Hag's better than him? But we, 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 can, we can do the scales of consequence. 8-2 is better than 7-0. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We celebrated twice. The maths. <laughs> we conceded 7. And we missed the penalty. We goals. scored twice, though. That's a difference. I that's missed a, the penalty. Do you know, do, do, no, we're talking about conceding. I mean, goals, scoring. We're talking about scoring. We're talking about conceding. Arsenal lost, what, three first team players that winner didn't sign anyone until the end after that game. Jenkinson right I have to go TK Maxx and buy bare it team. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you, you the fact that you're acting proves to me that I'm proving my point. That's no, a dead statement. No, it it does. does. It dead evidence. It dead statement. Uh, you made big signings and lost 7 0 at a team that's even below With you in the Premier League. Nah, and stinks. you was a better team in form. Losing 7 0 is, is, is not a sign of a good manager. I'm not, he's obviously a good that's manager. That's one more than the six we conceded this season. It's only three more than the four. one half. Oh yeah, only, only three more than the four. Take that one back. No. <laughs> I'm saying we've conceded the goal. All right, bro. I've never in the prem. I've never crazy, in the prem seen a team have two players score a hat trick in their team. When I saw Foden yes, you and Leicester. Harlan, Leicester against, I've never seen that. See, he's ignoring you. He's ignoring you. Leicester done it with who? When they beat Southampton. Was it Southampton? Who got two? Who got two hat tricks that year? Who got two hat tricks? Vardy and who? Morris. There you go. Morris? No, no, no. no, you no, like, no. He says Morris is at it's Man right, City. But two hat-tricks doesn't mean anything. Six goals is six goals. It's happened twice in, this, in, in the Prem. It's happened you know, twice before in the Prem. That, that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. If you, that, you should... Some, next question. Sometimes yeah, next, next question. question. Just say next question, bro. It's happened twice before in the Prem, so <laughs> don't give it to me. Ignore that. Seven nils ha- probably happened twice. Seven nils six mad. in one half seven as well. Mad, that's not acceptable. Seven nils mad, but your CV's crazy, man. Let's it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Right. And yeah, he's a good coach. He's gonna. He's Wait, gonna come back. Four nil, seven nil, six three. All in one season. He's a serial. He's a serial winner in a lot of ways. He, yeah, he, his first he job, he got go ahead Eagles uh, promoted for the first time in seventeen years. Go ahead Obviously, Eagles. He was Bayern Munich uh, assist. Um, Westside West, West Hawks was 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 running it. <laughs> <laughs> Westside Hawks were, were in the same league. <laughs> he was at Bayern Munich 2, which is obviously a lot of great coaches came from there. Though I would calm down. That's where you learn. That's where you learn his they, they they won the league that year. Yeah, philosophies. Uh, at, the league at, with U- Utrecht, Utrecht. He took Utrecht to fifth and then took them to fourth. Oh my god! Which is a massive for them. It's massive for them. And then he goes to Ajax and wins the league three times. That's goes far in Champions yeah, League and goes Europa League, league final. Wins the Johan Cruyff Shield. Oh. The prestigious Stairs Award. Yeah. Stairs Award. <laughs> stairs we, award. Won a we don't ever mention Charity <laughs> Shield. We won so the Stairs awesome. Award. He bro. comes to England, wins the Carling Cup. Oh. oh. It says you Man United fans are bad at this. Have this evidence. Who went further in the Europa League? Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, From yeah. the start of the season. No, I just said that. Oh, you just bad at it. We've I gone, just said that. We've gone further in the league. You got to the final. He got to the final, yeah. Yeah, but you lost. No, he got to the final of Europa League. The same one. Now, have you been far in that? Yeah, no, but did you, did you win? Don't worry, man. I just don't rate any of the awards, the trophies yeah, that your gaffers won. Man. None of them. Eric De Visa, Utrecht, Go Eagles. I don't care about none of it. No, What's that? I don't South care, Africa? bro. I don't care. Where's well, he, I mean, but, I, but here's the bit I don't get, though. He's been at the club for like seven months. He's played every game. He's still in every competition. He's won the first trophy that was available <laughs> to him. You cannot rate whatever you don't want to rate. He's... Your team's not in the FA Cup. Your team's not in yeah, the Europa League. Yeah, I made that point you're making right now. I made that point. So, but I don't rate anything before that. Nothing before that. Hey, I, I get made that point. point. I get it, but I you, that you don't rate anything. No, 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 I don't rate it. This is what I rate. I rate this. Like, he's but played I've Champions made... League. He's done very well in the Champions League. He's done very well in the Europa League. No, he's he got didn't titles. Do well in the League. They came down, didn't they? Mm. In the Champions League? They didn't got, they, they, did they not get to the no, semi-final? No, 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 we're talking about Manchester United. I'm talking about no, we're all talking these credentials Yeah, yeah, and Manchester United. So when we're you got about to Eric Ten Hag. He didn't get to the Champions League with United. They've been in the Europa League with United. They've been in the Europa League. He's, he's, he's been there this season. Yeah, they finished he below us in Europa. Season. Since where? you. And then what's he done? He's yeah, still, he there. still there. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, nice. Well done. out next. You're next struggling. Time, <laughs> You're struggling. You're struggling. <laughs> Wait, when's this out, T? It's out next week. We could yeah, be out. Yeah, yeah, it might be out. It might be out. Oh, if you are out by then, keep it in. Ooh. Keep it in. Now nah, keep it in. Keep we're it staying in. in. Keep it all in. Keep it in. We're staying in. We're going to the final, man. Twan Zabi, centre back. We're gonna go number three on our list. It's this name. Oh, this is crazy. Number three on our list was voted uh, 
very high by everybody except Felix, Lippy and Greg. Oh my days. You should go. You should what? go. Oh my days. It's the product coach. I had seconds. The coach Jordan had put- second. The coach Poet had second. The coach PK had no second. Way. The coach Steve-O had second. The coach Miles jokers. had second. You look, I Jürgen said i with you, my brother. He's not second. Can he be second? Of course he's second. He's a higher man. <laughs> You just played Arteta. Yes. No, 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 wait, 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 yeah, he is. He's better, bro. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lippy, Lippy. Oh, you, put, you put Eddie Howe ahead of no, him. No, I put Ten Hag 10th because I knew he'd put him first. Because <laughs> where did you put Arteta? They got a war. Wait, I put Ten Hag ahead of respectable fifth. That's the first time he's ever put... But you, you, That's the you first put, time he's ever you put, put Arsenal you top You put eight. Eddie Howe above Klopp. I've done the list. Yeah, street. I've got, I've got 100%. Lippy. I've done it on this season. I'm not Eddie hearing Howe all this. See you later. Bye, bye, bye. Brother, I done the, I done the list on this, man. You man, eight, I don't know about from this now on, man. you're gonna I see the truth. Because remember what man said. You know, this is my, this is my Miles moment. Remember when you said it about two? No, 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 you said it with two cool and Arteta. You was right, G. You was right. Everyone laughed. At, I laughed at you, bro. Oh, okay. It's my time now. It's my, my say it, then. moment. What do you mean? I said it. I said it in my thing, bro. Arteta, Arteta is the second best manager in the league, bro. And he's better than who? Then Klopp, bro. Hundred percent. Now or. In life, G. Oh, okay. Liverpool ain't finishing you can't above even hold, us you again. Can't even hold that. You can't even <laughs> Liverpool, ain't, Liverpool ain't finishing above us even... for years. Liverpool. I'm glad they're not finishing above us. This is crazy, bro. They're not gonna finish above us for a while, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Hey, Klopp's I'm crazy, telling bro. you. He is, know, but man. at the same time, crazy. he's got the stubbornness. It's set in yeah, or Wenger stubbornness. Bro, he almost yeah, beat but you. as a, as a young as a young manager, bro. You understand? And Arteta's don't get it twisted. He's got his well. He's got his well. You're not rating the COVID COVID Premier League then. Nah, nah, I rate it because it's more than that, man. Covid Premier League. You have to rate everything. The, the you have to rate everything. First everything season is where done. Sorry. Ninety something points. Four, is he been to four European finals? He's a madman, but I just feel like, bro, the way the way they've been this season, bro. It's been bad. It's been bad, and I think. But don't you think a lot of that is his fault, though? I don't think another manager would have done this. Okay, here's here's my perspective, and this is gonna sound so pretentious, right? But I thought about this a lot. Klopp is like a chef. A lot of top managers now are like professors. They will, professors, what they'll do is they'll take an element and they will whittle it down until it's the thing they want. That's all I want. I don't want all this stuff. Let me get it all. And the thing I want is in there. Klopp is like a chef. His ingredient needs to be right. And if the ingre- if he puts if he puts a weaker ingredient in, it ruins the pot. And I think that is the difference between him and a Pep and even a Mikel Arteta is when, when the ingredients are wrong, one of them's cheaper, one of them's not working one of them's hard. bruised, one of them something, it, it makes for a different dish, a different experiment, a different outcome. And I think what Klopp's had this year, and, and you probably say he's had it every three years maybe, where the players run themselves into the ground, so he played every game last season, and that was a Champions League final and a Premier League run, not a hoping to get into the Champions League and get into the Europa League final. That was a proper run. That's a run, yeah. And he won two it's trophies in that four. run. Uh, this year it's hit a wall a little bit, lost money, uh, l- good injuries, midfield didn't get replenished, Van Dijk's been playing her and got and had seats time out. So I, I get it. So is it his fault? Yes. Because yeah. that's his style. He's because he because he he, he 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 builds up momentum and it, it's a it's a degree of perfection that Pep can find perfection by making the atoms bounce off each other. Klopp We'll just dash it all in a pot and be like, you be great, you be great, you be great. And it's perfection, but it's a different way of going about it. And it burnt out and it didn't work this year. And the players just couldn't carry them any further than they have this year. And it stinks. And it is his fault. But I think he's the he's one of the best managers in the world. Is it his fault? It's coming back. Is it his fault though when you say they're not in charge of transfers? Nah, but it's not. No, I it, think some clearly, managers have more to than they... Oh, no, no, in that sense, you're right. Because, but at the same time, if you are if you own a club and a manager says to you, right, what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna run these guys into the ground, burn them the hell out, and then every three years, they're gonna be useless, but they'll be back next year. You can't just keep buying players on top of that. He does need midfielders and- Buy that, his man for no reason, bro. Gakpo, the Gakpo signing. You've bought Gakpo, he's 
That, that will make Jack sense. Paul works, man. That makes sense. Jack Paul works, so? man. And then my thing is, go get him in the summer, then. Yeah, exactly. Go get him in the summer. No, because he did that with Luis Diaz. He he, you're he buys Nabi Keita. early. He transfers players in a, early. A, a replacement for him. You're better on. You're better off saying Naby Keita. That, that was that was, that was weird. Signing, yeah. I just feel like he signed a lot of man. For, I, they needed a midfielder he lots in general. Of he said the other day when they when they pulled out the Bellingham signing, they said, "What do you think about pulling out the Bellingham signing?" He's like, "What do you mean? I didn't pull out of anything. I don't have control over that. That's not my business." Like. It's unfair to blame managers for transfers, but at the same time, you could be right in a sense that he could have bought two midfielders this summer. Yeah. Off the top of the head, though, I don't know how many signings they've wasted. Broski, I just think. Gat well, because they won one. everything, Minimino. you can't say it's been wasted. I mean, no, no, but because I could, I could identify Cater as a waste. Cater, yeah, I'm Minimino. Minimino. Chamberlain, maybe. No, because we we said it, we said it with Ten Hag. Yeah, how much money did they pay for my man Nunes? Yeah, yeah. he's when man look at his tally at the end of the season, bro. Trust me, bro. To, to, how much did they pay for him? 90 something. Million, million? It's, it's million? unclear, but some. Let's say it's 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Gabriel Jesus has more yeah. goals than him in the league, you know. Who? Gabriel no, Jesus. Chance, chance be After being out for how long? Yeah, but we know that Nunes Ket is going to come no, but good. I hear you, but it's to like, some degree. Even. He's going to he's gonna come good one and stay long fact, too. Even the fact that, like, out of the top managers we're talking about, yeah, they ain't bought guys and it's gone wrong, bro. Like, you understand? Wherever it's. it's it's not. It's, I'm not saying Nunes has gone wrong, but like I think if Nunes played for United, Arteta are definitely a pet. You use a lot. You utilize him better. But if Nunes went into the Liverpool team last year, we're having a different conversation. Yeah, but is it gonna work though with last year? Because last year we, they had the the front three that worked. But but they but they but they also had Bobby Firmino. A lot of Pep signings don't work as well, so I don't want to. Yeah, like but the ones that down. work. Win him things. Yes, Klopp can say the same. All the signings that he's got and when he won the yeah, Champions League, they, they won. No, they but won the same, no, but previously, the Marnes, the if, we're talking, if we're talking about Pep and Klopp, yeah, it's direct, they're the different ends of the spectrum when it comes to how they treat their squad, yeah. Pep's thing is every two years, fresh. Yeah. Two or three men yeah, but you that, can that, afford that were to not do that. Yeah, Liverpool but, can't afford to do that. Though. Yeah, but they... they They've, they've come, I've seen Klopp come out and say, I ain't got no bread like that, they're bro. Fishing in a different, they're fishing in a different pool in the sense that a lot of the time, well, first of all, Man City have held on to a few players that a lot of teams in the world would not be able to hold on to at that age because there's no resale value on those players. So they're holding on to Silver your Gunders. Kevin De Bruyne's Gunders, and then, then your Fernandinho's Gunders. and your David Silva's and whatever. And even Bernardo Silva, who has been rumoured to be trying to leave mm. for like two, two summers now, it's kind of different. That's, that's where the money starts playing a big part. Liverpool know Henderson, Fabinho, Thiago as their best central midfield is not good enough to compete with the best teams in the world this season. They knew that going into the summer, but I think they thought they've got enough players and that maybe Harvey Elliott can come in and maybe the maybe there'll be enough there to carry them through. Uh, they got to the window and they said, you know what, we can address the midfield in the summer. Let's break in the new false nine guy. And it's like, I'm not saying it's definitely going to work, but I am saying that the things that let them down this year were injuries to centre backs, which hurt them two years ago, uh, and just the age in midfield. Fabino has been mostly bad this year. I know people think I just ride for Henderson. Henderson hasn't been his best, but Henderson can't play two games in a week, and when he does play, he's very effective still. At the same time, there's been certain results and certain certain games, like his in-game management, even like change the formation or change certain players in their positions that he could have got a result out of, out of that Liverpool team. And there's certain results that they've lost that. It's down too close. I just feel like he had too long. I remember having conversations about what's going on now on this at these tables like two years ago, saying if my man keeps on playing the same eleven all the time, one of them's gonna leave. The guy they replace him with is gonna be a good player, but it's not gonna be the same. Everything's gonna be ticks up, and that's exactly what's yeah, happened. But, but two years ago, they're losing seven two to Aston Villa. I'm thinking it's more of what Tigo said, bro. Like it's just they run them a little bit ragged. And I just give them this little play season to get some people in January. Need eight man, nah. no, like, I think they need about two midfielders. Really, like I'd the people that they got in, three. they don't need eight men. Yeah, two, not, three midfielders. Maybe not eight man, but they need four at a stretch. I think they need a, a lot of man, bro. Kanate is going to be great next season. Kanate will be great next season. For me, Gomez is is done. Yeah, they need another right back anyway. Yeah, for second choice. Yeah, two centre midfielders. Yeah, three maybe. That's five. Yeah. No, but if you're talking first team players, I say forget the right back situation. Maybe an additional centre back if Van Dijk's not up for the season. Don't get just, I think guys have to leave it. as well. I'm not saying just to add. Yeah, Naby Keita, all these guys, guys have to leave. Nabi After what you said about Jota today, I think Jota needs to leave. Jota needs That's to leave. That's bad, bro. Yeah. Nah, man. I will Jota, keep Jota. Will come good. Keep Jota. Do, you Do you remember when? So the last what? So, so we mentioned Harvey Elliott, um, Carvalho, 
Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones. So the Spanish kid in midfield. So um, yeah, Cano- Canote is young. Like the left back. They've got the, they've got like a, a next level of kids coming through. Real good kids, by the way. Um, th- that maybe that he might be um, waiting on them. You don't want to stifle their growth. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't think he's over reliant on those guys now. Yeah, I don't I, think he's over reliant on those. They're guys. not showing enough. Though. He played a lot. He's played Harvey. He's played a Harvey lot. Harvey Elliott's played a lot of football. They're not showing enough, man. I think Harvey Elliott's been trusted, but the 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 way Liverpool play, maybe that will pay off next year. But I think they need more like explosion. Explosion. There were some bookie yeah. signings. That Thiago was bookie. Wait, but no, Thiago, it wasn't though. He didn't nah, even win everything. Worked. Didn't Thiago? Didn't wasn't that successful signing? Thiago the worked, man. It worked, but it was like. Again, I just feel like... The only like reason it don't work is because it looks ugly now and he's out for ages. You're always injured. I just think it was booky, mm. bro. Yeah, like... It it's not a long-term thing. What, it's a short-term. what term. their issue could have been, you don't go and get Tiago. Go get a man Because, again, time. that just makes you be back in that situation. I know what you mean. D- two years down the line. So, Tiago should have been, like, what we've got with Jorginho. Someone that you can bring on in certain parts of the game or just... He, he, do you remember my worry with Jorginho? That I just thought, now, because we got Jorginho, yeah. in like a year or two, we're just going to be in the same situation where we just we just need a guy. Luckily, our situation ain't as bad as Liverpool's. Yeah. But Liverpool's going to be in... They've got, they're going to have um, my man. They've got Fabinho, um, Henderson, mm. Thiago, mm. Naby Keita. The midfield's old. You're mentioning the midfield. The midfield's yeah. old. Yeah. The midfield, yeah. the midfield, the midfield pass it. Yeah, he still ain't played. Uh. Yeah, I was, I was thinking. Got injured. But again, you ask Klopp if he, that was his plan. That's wow. when you want to talk about transfers. Arthur, Arthur's on loan. Arthur Mello, yeah. But last year, look, they played every game. He was quality in that run. FA Cup, League Cup, Champions League final. Lost the league by a point. Like That's it, rough. It, that is that is hitting a wall. That's and again, rough. you want to talk about Man United. There's a possibility that you, if you lot stay in every competition, we talked about this the other day. Casemiro, you stay in every competition, you might hit a wall next year. Where a lot of those players are like, you know, we played a lot of football last year, We're knackered. and you're already seeing a lot of injuries. Because it's hard. It's fatigue. hard. Of course, it is. It's hard to play that many games and tell man, yo, this is the game, and then we go again next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mentally, that's why they're that's professional, hard. though. That's what they're they're like. Especially if you do bring in the right kind of player. That's true, but going, even Pep know? said, even Pep said he gets rid though. That's why every two in years. team sports it's too hard. It's too many grown men. Pep has got the luxury of having a Joao Cancelo and go cool, and he's got the luxury of having four centre back. How much did um, um, oh my god, what's the French Spanish uh, Laporte? How much did Laporte cost? Fifty. And well, Nathan, no, Ake, Nathan Ake was 40. Sorry, Ruben 40. Diaz Stones was 60, 60 oh, 70. 60, Jordan, yeah. John Stones was 50. 50. Like those are Carl four Walker cents of options. How much was Nate, even the Kanji that you just said a minute ago? How much was Kanji, he? exactly. Right, so they got five, five, five centre back options on first team contracts. So when Pep turns around and says, I need to shift players every year to keep them fresh and keep them hungry and motivated, it's a different task than when any team other than Man City does that. And that's when, when people talk about money and, oh, Nunes costs 90 million, stop complaining about money. The difference is Pep has to buy, uh, Klopp has to buy Nunes for what happens in the next five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's, yeah, not yeah. What, that's not the game that yeah. Man City playing. are playing. Yeah, Man City are paying for the next two. Selfridges, bro. Anything <laughs> go whatever they want. Because bro. Alvarez, as good as he is, he could get he could get shifted out in next season or two, you know. And, and we'll he, forget and, about and him. And he's good enough to be a starter at a lot of teams. Yeah, yeah. and we'll forget so, about him, and he'll be shifted on. I hear, I hear you. But but you know, it's possible that the energy can run out, and it's it's all about Klopp's energy. It's all about whether he it has is, the energy it is, to you know, do it again. Do you know what's my funny? Opinions are like recruitment based. I can't lie. Like, but Lippy, he, Lippy, Lippy, Lippy. Klopp's the only one that's not allowed to get tired. Yeah. Lippy, Klopp is top two though. Nah. We can talk about number two now. And number two was voted high by everyone except Margs and Stevo. Stevo had him fifth, which isn't low. Uh, Greg had him first. PK had him first. Mikel Arteta. It's out there, man. Fifth, just because of experience. Makes sense. I see you look at me, you bog no, eyes. I was looking at you. Um, no, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, think. No, I just oh, think. Oh, I just oh, think. Like the summer we got coming up, I think we'll have the next couple seasons in the Champions League, hopefully. And we you'll see in it, like when he gets couple man in, like Arteta recruitments. Like I think we're gonna see a thing, man. Go I on, Jordi. I think he's a one one tournament at a time man. For now, for now, for because now. he hasn't got a squad. No, I hear that. I hear that. That's man can't argue against that. His squad depth isn't bad though. Yeah, but it's not enough though, Tigo. It's not, it's not good enough to, to compete. You could have done better outside of the Prem this yeah, year. Yeah, but we were, yeah, of I course. Think, I two think right backs, league. two left backs, three the to quality, four centre backs, five midfielders, 
The quality uh, threshold, though, man. What? What's the what's the quality threshold? Pe- Liverpool and Pe- and and Man City. That's the quality threshold. Okay, because that's not who knocked you out of the Europa League. No, uh, I'm just saying, but that's the quality ca- that we need to compete and on. FA Cup. Yeah, but Tigo, no, no, I, I get that. I get that. Do you? But we're talking about Champions League. We're talking that's about Champions League and Europa about. League. Oh, then FA Cup and everybody. He said one competition, man. I'm saying that you had a good enough squad to go further in the competitions you Fair didn't enough. go. Cup so did Man City. So did Liverpool. When man, you see like our second choice nine. And Ketia, love him, come in to replace my man, scored, what was it, four times or something? In the like Prem, in the Prem. Yeah, but, but even and outside of the com- <laughs> of the Prem, we went out of the competition. So it shows that these guys, that like, they're not good enough. Like, the thing is, and, we got locked up by Brian in the League bro, Cup. Fair enough. Man, man, man City. Who's the, the Brazilian winger we had? Marquinhos. These oh, guys aren't good Norwich. enough. Norwich. They, they, they okay, but but why are you talking about Marquinhos, though? But he played in the uh, Europa match. He when didn't we play in your league, Brighton, he didn't play your there. league game. No, but in the Brighton match, yeah. it was Nketiah, Nelson, and Marquinhos up front. Then it was Vieira, El Nene, and... Um, Xhaka. Okay. Yeah, Xhaka. So why did you lose to Sporting? Sporting? Who who was we playing? That was a penny, penny shield. The penny no, shield. Jesus we everyone. played we everyone. everyone though, anyway. Yeah, so we why did you lose everyone. that? It's football. It stinks. No, 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 no. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks. It stinks, man. That was funny stuff. You can see the way we play in other competitions is different to the way we play in the league. Is it a whole different tempo? That sounds like what Jordy just said. Yeah, no, I, I agreed with Jordy. I agreed with well, him. I'm, yeah, not, exactly. I'm not arguing with we're him. Not, we're not disagreeing with him. We're saying right now that the squad and the squad depth we have, we don't have enough. When to do you think that changes though? When we get some some guys in Champions bro. League, yeah. Like, so so not next so not next year. I don't no, totally I think it will happen next year, bro. Hundred percent. We'll, but, we'll but, try because Champions League's harder. Do you remember last week when I asked you which first team players need replacing, and you said like the most obvious one? Yeah, but at the same time, we need guys to come in and create competition. Yeah, better right other guys. Like, How does that work though? Because when we talk about Liverpool, we talk about they need to buy replacements for first team players. But when it's Arsenal, it's like we need players now, who, but who respect but their, but their our first, players. But their first team players are gouch, bro. Like we ain't got a Fabinho playing for us. Allegedly, like, I can't wait for till that guy leaves. Allegedly, because he's don't killing do that. us. We don't. No, 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 we agree. I'm hearing allegedly. We don't, man. We don't. I'm just. I'm saying, like, I, 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 right now, you guys believe that, and I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying right now, you don't believe that. That you don't have any back, you don't have any players in need replacing. You don't believe like that. Four of their players at once, bro. With Liverpool, because of yeah, because yeah, of the way, of course. Because of the way they've been playing. With us, we we're we're lucky bro, to not have that. Every that, player is replaced. You understand? Them. So like, we've got in Saliba, Ben White. Like these guys don't have like the mental exhaustion of certain men. They were they didn't play for Arsenal when certain things were happening. What if they're exhausted next year? That could happen, but well, at were the same they time, against I Sporting? think that's why we're gonna bring man in, bro. It was penalties, though, man. Let's not be too I harsh. It was penalties. In. Why was it penalties? It was Sporting. We missed several one on ones. It wasn't Edwards good enough. Had you on strings? I hear that. It wasn't good enough. I, yeah, do you know what? My bad. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. I'm just that saying, like, you, the, there's a season of evidence here. There's, there's last season. Arsenal were, were good, and Arteta's a good manager. And I'm not saying anything otherwise. Me, I've got him third in my list. I believe he's somewhat revolutionary. I do think there's a bit, a bit of a simplicity in the way he plays. That's a bit cute now. I see what Pep's done <laughs> at City, and I think, oh, what Arteta's doing is actually cute compared to how complicated what Pep's now doing. And, it's, and I think that's probably because of personnel. I was just going to say that. Yeah. I think when, what Pep can do with short passes, what Pep can do with shadow press and all this stuff, Arsenal can't do because they don't have the personnel. You lot think the personnel's untouchable and no, there's don't. only two players no, that can no, be replaced no, no, in the first no, no, team. No, 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 that's what you said. Yeah, but if it, no, yeah, but that's, no, that's no, realistic. Said, right, don't do that, Tico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, Ben, we need a better right back. If we win the league, yeah, or even if we don't, say we come second, yeah, we're going to go into next season with mainly the same team, bro. Yeah, these but our team's the younger than Man City's that. as well. Man the, City's team's the, the, older. The players have earned that. If so Man City ask, win the league, they're not. Because they're, that's their they're city, vibe, bro. That, yeah, we're this, not City. But we're they're like, older, though. We're not in the same situation as City. We're like two years ahead of what we're meant to be doing. And on top of it, our players are young. They're going to need first team football in order to get better anyway. Like they need these games, irrespective of the circumstances. You might be in the same situation as City. Obviously, they're a bigger club, but you lot are fighting no, for the they league. They spend more money, not bigger. They're club. fighting for the league, but next year, next year, next year, you're all in. The, you're in the same. Comps. I know, hundred percent. But we, but we got players that will need to crack on and become better players. City can just say, oh, what, Grealish, rare, rare, you, you're, you're all not dead. good enough. Yeah, man, we'll just bring in my man, Napoli, you. Rare t- when, we, just, when we talk about goal. Declan Rice joining Arsenal in the summer, right, which yeah. is a rumour, mm-hmm. who does he replace? Granit Xhaka. Xhaka. So you now play Partey, Rice, and Odegaard. And how, or, or does Declan Rice play up there? Double pivot. Does Declan no, Rice play so. up there? Or do I you think, think Declan Rice is this a new Russell, system? Yeah. A little bit of a double pivot. But it's a new system. On paper. 
Ladder wouldn't say it's a new city. Or who knows, bro? Man might have. Um, might buy two man more midfielders. Man might have Dicks and Rice doing the Jacker thing, bro. Up there, pressing on. You don't know. No, we never knew Jacker could do it. You never know. I'll be Xhaka honest, bro. He might. He might want. Uh, Mikel might see him and think, you know what? The way you drive with the ball, the way you put the team on your back. You do that. You do have better players around you. I'm not saying that you lot have to know what Arteta's thinking. I'm not saying you lot have to guess what Arteta's going to do next because that's crazy. No one knew Pep was going to go full centre backs, and all this nonsense, and, and get rid of Cancelo John Stones, and the MCM. Yeah, no, no one saw Rico Lewis coming in and coming out. No one saw this stuff happening, right? So I'm not telling you to know what Arteta's going to do next. But but what you're describing, that's when I say it's cute. Compared to what? No, hundred. I'm not it's it's going on elsewhere. But at no at early point, stages. at no at no point, am I trying to compare us to City like on a squad level? I'm only comparing. No, I neither am I. I'm saying on a tactical. Yeah, level. yeah, not yeah. We're nowhere near them. The, uh, we can only compare ourselves to them as we're challenging with them at the top of the league. At right this now. present moment, and, time. One, when and it comes, like you could compare the fact that you have a almost identical system to the one they played two years ago. Yeah, yeah, but because Arteta was there two years ago, that's all I'm he knows. Saying, I'm, that's something yeah. they wasn't. But and the reason they it. don't need to play their system because their system, they've got, they've, we've probably got a plan B at most, and our plan B ain't great. But a city could go to plan D, and, and they've still old, goals in front. Lippy, Lippy, they've got older players that have been more inexperienced that have played in several. Oh, like, hate, bro, they so got, they're gonna, they're gonna have more knowledge just, of the game. I'm not, compa- I'm not asking you to be better than City next year. I'm not asking you to compete with Man City next year. I'm just saying, Mikel Arteta is. I like I said, I consider him somewhat revolutionary. I think he's a great manager. I've got him third in my list. I think he's fantastic. I'm just saying what happens next year, what happens in this summer, and what happens is going to be defining. And when you talk about Klopp hitting a wall and, you know, does that mean he's down to fifth and sixth and whatever in our list? Mikel Arteta's got a big job next year. I think you lot have to, you lot. I don't think you lot have to be honest about your team right now because you have to try and win the league and believe that every one of your players is great in that way. But... Miguel Arteta has to be more honest. Yeah, but we know guys. that there's there's loads of players on our team that that can be replaced by better players in the world. We know that, but are we gonna get it? Is realistic? No. Well, it's not just that though. It's Man City happen. side, twenty five plus majority of them, they can do so much more. Our side needs to get there so nah, they need to play games. You, it's like Arteta, young, Martinelli, Arteta young. is getting Saliba young. Num- he's getting Please. the numbers out of these boys. Hundred percent. You get me like Martinelli, Odegaard, Saka, all ten plus league goals. So I as, as as young players. Under 23, all of them. But there's like consistency. This is, but it needs to happen consistently. But it let needs me to ask a question then. Once let me ask a question. So, level, so competing against a machine. There the you go. Side. There you go. So <laughs> what players need to be replaced if you are going to dominate in European football? Like we're talking top level players. I'll what be honest. Even expect to dominate even, next year. We need to just brother, be patient. I'll be honest, bro. yeah. I'll tell man, if man's being brutally, brutally honest, yeah. The only player, yeah that would definitely play for us if I was to move on and become one of the best teams in Europe that definitely keeps his place is Saka, bro. Oh, and maybe Saliba. Odegaard, no? And maybe Saliba. No, no, no. Saliba? Maybe Odegaard. E- yeah, Odegaard. Odegaard maybe even Saliba, Gabriel. Saka. And the no, keeper. Keep going. I like Ram. Yeah, I like no, Ram. I, and I think, those, I, think you, I think those are the three. That are definitely... There you go. That's 100%. Like, if we go get the best... The best players in the world. The best left These are the guys that new, will still be here. Back. Yeah, but I just yeah. think you see like Arteta's philosophy. It's just like let's get these younger players and grow them gradually. I think. I hear you. I, I hear Pep's if, thing if, is if, we recycle no, every at the two same years. Time, that's his at thing. the same time, I hope Arteta Sick, is realistic enough to know that. Yeah, I love. Gabby Martinelli. Uh, yeah. if that's what I'm saying. If Mbappe is available, Brother, I'm gonna go he grab will him. do that. He tried to you get, get Modric. And if, what's wrong with you? Like he tried no, to get No, but that's not. That's not. Look, at the time, it seemed like that, though. Not better than Martinelli. You're saying that because of the way he's playing yeah. for Chelsea right at now. The time, I'm though, telling you. At the time. Mudrick under Arteta. Martinelli, Martinelli has more goals in, in Mudrick's career this year. What's that? Martinelli, had, I'm, I, 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 Martinelli has more goals this season than Mudrick does in his career. But I just so trust, you can't... I just trust Arteta. I hear you. I hear but you, at the but time, like, he was a, like a, a world player. Like He was I, that guy. I, developing young players gradually is a great way to sell players. It's not a great way to keep a team together. It not not at least in modern football. There's a and lot of players we're going to have to sell as well. But, but no, again, 100%. we're, we're, uh, over, we're oh. overthinking, we're over talking about Mikel Arteta. He is a great manager. Everyone he's here man. says he's, he's good. He's getting the numbers the out of The two signings he made in January shows us that he's, he's thinking in the right direction. Cold, and the ones Cold. in the summer and the ones before that. He's getting the numbers again, out of these young I don't know why we're giving managers credit for the signings. Do you think, T, like, on that, do you think they, they get, wasn't Georgie, they get wasn't, a list? Wasn't, wasn't Arsenal's head of transfers trying to get Georgino three or four years ago? I hate you. But then like, Arteta like, like him three, four years ago. Ben White. I don't know. Tom he did. Yasu. He did. It's 2019. If Mikel Arteta is in charge of this team and he's playing in every competition and he's as meticulously detail-obsessed as he is, 
he's not watching DVDs of Trossard going hey, and and then going and then this and this. And this. There is someone who's in charge of that. Like, and how does it work? Twenty twenty three manager it's, managers. They he say phone he him and say that. here. Here's who we got as options. What do you think? And he goes, that makes the most sense. But managers do not. Boy, but don't, we have to move past no, this but if idea. Anything, it's 2023. But if anything, then, then man has to rate managers more for making it work. Because you're just a, a just a guy that's you just turned up. What they bring man in. don't know who's. The, they got to watch Sky News. Like, oh, Trossard, he might be coming. I might need to. I'd need to draw up some stuff. Well, no, it's like a, it's like a director. Like, but like, just Zerbi like, rocked up and just said, "All right, I'll do it with this." <laughs> I'm sure he did approve of Trossard though. Because he could have said, no, nah, we don't want Trussell. Of course. And Georgino. Because he did it it's last transfer season. It's not the same. Because we, we grew up in a generation where a manager would go scout a player. And phone him. Go phone him. Would, we'd be talking, to, to, talking to his coaches, talking yeah. to his dads, all that. That's not the no, same. Yeah. That's different. Players. Players. Wait, the players. No. Um, ten, uh, Anthony and Liz, Lissandro. Yeah, but again, well, that, that, that is less over him going, right, by, here's a bit. Here's a, that's more so them going right. We need to create the best possible scenario for this manager because it make probably this won't work. be the same next year. I'm confused though because back in the day, sure, them, come on. I'm surely some chance. I'm going to sneak one in on guest list. You I get a couple. Go on, Pope. Malassia. Come on, bro. There's no way United cared about him till Ten Hag came. Bro. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, but but, but yeah. basically, I need, I need a, I need a cover left back. How far down on the list he is? There is no player in world football, especially playing in one of the top leagues, who is not on a list at every club. Oh. Every club has got every... So if Melissa is like 12th on a list of left-backs and they bring the manager in and go, look, he's going to cost too much. He, d -d 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 what do you think of this? And he goes, you know what? Skip them. Him. I've seen him. I know him. He's good. Boom. That's different to go in. Who do we want? He's going, right, let me phone him. Let me phone oh, Tyron Melissa. 12 mil, bait. Is that is that all right? 12 mil? That, that's how it used to work. That's not how it works. I think it, when it comes to people like Ramsdale and these guys, I think he wanted that kind of keeper, though. I think he wanted Ramsdale. I, hear, I think well, he wanted Ben. How the back they signed from Poland? Like, who the hell would have known this guy? There must no, be that, some signings. That's, that's less my... Um, Sorry, what are you saying? What's your point? I feel like that's more Arteta. That's more. No, I'm not saying Arteta. I'm not saying Arteta. I'm not saying Arteta. For guys not at all. Like no, no, Arteta, no, I'm there's no way no, Arteta finds that. I'm not watching Ligue of Warsaw. Arteta's like, more, yeah, yeah, Arteta's yeah, yeah, more no, Trossard, no, 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 bro. Arteta. Trust me. Yeah, that Trossard is Arteta. He knows this guy needs a left wing or something. going to do something now. Prem proven and need something. Well, he didn't want Prem proven. He wanted Mudrick. We raised in 2004. Wenger didn't watch him. Wenger sent a scout. He watched him 50 times. It was well documented that he sent a scout. Who sent a scout? Wenger. Who? Well, it came from Arsenal. I'm just saying. Well, no, it was Wenger. Way back then, though. That's how it worked. Wenger, Wenger was autonomous at Arsenal. You you just like Alex Ferguson was autonomous at Manchester United. Just like Rafa Benitez was auto autonomous at Liverpool. It's 2023. It's not how it works. So, not tell, so, so yeah, Jesus and Zenjinko, he would have just gone like, we need a, a full nine type of thing and they would have had Jesus on a recommendation Yo, list yeah, of players I know available. Jesus, it would it would have, it, it's, 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 it's a process, yeah. isn't it? It's a process. But Mikel Arteta is not, signing players. I don't think it's fair to judge him for signing players. I think it's fair to say what the model he wanted, that he matched the players and he knows those players and everything connects perfect, let's do that deal. Same thing, and it's exactly the same thing with Ten Hag, which is why I don't say Ten Hag signed Anthony, Ten Hag signed Amalasi. It just made sense. Everything made sense. And and it's it's the profile of the player they needed, so they go get the player. But there's people in charge of this stuff. If, you, if you're paying someone five million pounds a year, this is just, let's talk business here. If you're, pay, if you're paying someone five million pounds a year, why are you going to trust him to spend 250 million pounds of your money? You're not. You're going to hire experts who, if you flop, the next guy can take that 250 million pounds worth of talent and product and make that work as well. You don't put that all in one manager's hands in 2023. It just doesn't work Do that way. Do you think this will work forever? What? This, this system? other guys buying guys. It's getting more and more. Because my yeah. thing is, don't you think you'll get to the point? Because that's like, say a, a mechanic's working. You've got an old school mechanic proper greasy hand man that could do everything yeah but they're bringing him all these new things and he's saying brother i can't i can't fix I cars with this. Like, but the way <laughs> i do it it works yeah but that means you you're manchester united and the ten, facilities are bad ten. the number of managers changed this year is 10 and that's because they're saying rather change you than change 500 million pounds worth you, but of my players. thing is because you were saying professionals yeah but like my thing is that a pep guardiola like you're trying to tell me some guy called like Something Garcia saying, yeah, Pep, nah, you can't have him. Did you, you not see uh, the Amazon Prime documentary series? Nah, I'll be honest. I yeah, the, literally, it was like, here's the list, and it's like, can't get him. You made an him, anal analogy him. about mechanic. There's another one, and I think I could be wrong. Felix is here, he's my movie guy. But you like a casting director. These directors, the casting guy would say, look, let me get Geordie. 
this guy, the director's not picked anything, but he has to now direct these people who the good casting directors have brought in. And they age out. But at the same time, it's like there's, there'll be a crossover of like info because it, it's not like Pep and that will know who the guys are. It won't be like, oh, right. So it's we a can mad joint Cause, decision. Because certain, certain directors will write scripts knowing I yeah. want to write the script for this actor. If you manage the team, I'm going to come to you, Lippy. Look, I got, yeah, I yeah, got a couple of You've got to be in synergy yeah. with this guy. It can't just be a guy that just. But the be all and end all. But that's why, that's why sometimes an Arteta gets that Potter, job. A man comes in just in a hoodie and just. Exactly. <laughs> looks him in the eyes. Because you know what it is? The Chelsea sign, the Chelsea work, signings. Make it work. The Chelsea signings look different to me than Arsenal signings like or no, Pep signings. Jorginho they just look one. different. But that's Jorginho good directors that. of football. That's good behind the scenes. Whereas Chelsea have none of that. Yeah. Chelsea have none of the organisation that Arsenal have built over the last few years. Yeah. And that's why Ralph Sanley, he lost his job. Because of bad acquisitions. Do you remember the Nigerian guy at Chelsea years ago? Michael, um, yes. Did he go to Arsenal in the end? Or? No, Frank Arneson was he's before just chilling. Him. He's just chilling. Frank Arneson was in charge and then he went to Tottenham. It, but it's, it's, it's 2023 though, look, it is where it is. Um, Arteta's cold, man. Arteta's cold. cold. I can only judge it over us in. It might, it might be a one cop, man. But number one on our list is the best manager is in the world. Is he the GOAT? He's gonna be, he might end up being the GOAT. And I think I, he will be the GOAT. I fight I with him, be I fight goal. with him he's because be his resources are endless. His attitude stinks. And sometimes I think uh, he, do, he doesn't do the things he, he could do, but he's tactically the greatest manager in the world is Pep Guardiola. What could he do? What do you hate? Um, I've, you go into this season when they had Erling Haaland up front and said, Here, here's our fullbacks and we're gonna play this tucky midfielder and all this. Yeah, and no. I go, this don't make sense. This is not, going to win you Champions League. This is not going to win you these tight games against these big teams. And and he still went into the season with it. And then we get to January and it's a completely new system and he's gone, here's how I'm going to get the best out of Erling Haaland. And it's with this um, press trap, this, this whatever the thing that you want to call it, with the shadow press and all that, that he's basically copied from Deserbi, but he's got John Stones playing in this position as a, as a, as a, as a like a 5.5 midfielder. Like it's weird that's just genius on some level. And you go, well, why didn't you do that? Uh, something. Cause, he, Cause the fact that he kept five center backs on a payroll means he must have had it somewhere in his mind. Do you know what it was? Do you know with me with Pep, it's just a, a blip, but he's still number one. I put him number one, I'm sure. It's that Bayern Munich time where he had the resources, I think, to go and do this Champions League thing. And he just couldn't take that great by a unit team. He got out as well. I he think his, his out issue in the Champions League it stuff, he just won't stick with it. Like you see what, how Klopp will do it, how um, Ancelotti will do it. He's got his 11. Yeah, when it's not the one 11, there's like one or two changes. Klopp will just be like, okay, it's Thursday today. I'm going to put Raheem over there. And then rear, rear. you get me? So I believe like, this year he's going to stick to no, it. No, nah, yeah, he's definitely. that's he's why definitely. He's it's not going to make problem. no mistakes this year. No, because now he's got just straight forward like, Raheem, you could play him on the left, a false nine, on the right, a little 10 position. Haaland is a nine only. You understand? Grealish, you're only sticking him on that inside left. Simple. Mares, you're only sticking him there. And four centre backs is four centre backs, exactly. no matter they're, how they're you slice it. And it's going like, to play Rodri and not drop. The, the, him dropping the DM, and you know what I think does well final. as well, which I think maybe teams are even frightened of this as well when they prepare for this. Sometimes is Alvarez coming on a bit late and just coming on like a I number. Think it's class. I think as well the, the difference class. this year is that he can shrink his team. He did it against Bayern. He, he compacted it a little bit more because he plays this quite narrow thing where they they can squeeze in and on the ball, like trigger that counter press. He he now can play defensive, like as a system. Before his is a he was obviously defensive because he could steal the ball back. Now he can actually squeeze his team in yeah, I'm because he's got cars. that free striker. Because as long as Erling Haaland's on side, he's in play. Period. No matter where he is on the pitch. So you see, with certain teams, they don't get like see Grealish has gone there, right? He had a he had time for Grealish to not play as great, um, which. I wouldn't say it's a player down. He was still doing all right, Grealish here, but not do as great. Now he's come and it's like, he's got an extra player, but they could afford to have players maybe not playing like Klopp can't and maybe Arsenal can't afford for their top players to fall off. City can afford that, you know what I mean? What's the last thing about Foden? Foden's out of the side now, it doesn't even matter. It's just cool. Like he's just got, he's got, he's got a luxury. Honestly, he's got a luxury of, of so much endless resources. That though, and right? I just think for six years and no Champions League. He's got Phillips sitting on the bench the, the whole season. Yeah, it's not just that it's luxury. 30 it's minutes that, he's played. It's that what he did to get the most out of Jack Grealish is this. 
And it's like, he couldn't, why is he playing these, these wing, these full backs with Raheem Sterling? Yeah, okay, because you could play one up, one deeper. Then you've got the way he's been playing. It makes sense. You take the full backs out and you go, right, two midfielders out wide. They're not midfielders, but they they play like midfielders. They now can get on the ball and they can do whatever the hell they want. Because all, all that they got is Laporte sitting behind or Akanji to pay two yard passes, recycling every single time, every single time. And that's because... And he could have done that in the summer, but he didn't. He, he proceeded with the, the fullback system and with the tucking in with fullback midfielder. Deserbi's come in and shown him, you know, couch your arrow works here. Let's play it like this and this this I system. I still think it's a luxury, though, man. Of course, it's a luxury. he's not. The money he, done. He sat. He for the, the game they play, they sacrifice nothing. There's not a, the only one man can play, maybe say is Grealish. You don't get the best out of Grealish, innit? He has to be not a shell of himself, but not Villa Grealish. I think Bernardo Silva sacrifices a lot. Yeah, because he has he's played left back, he has to drop deep. Yeah, and because ultimately he's he, could, he could be a ten. He yeah, he's, he's unbelievable. He's just yeah. such a ball he's carrier, a like busy, busy. Just but he doesn't mind. Looks like, like he doesn't even yeah, mind. Yeah, like, that's it, it's, it's, that's part of his game. I as think well. if you look at the fact that he's probably tried to go Barcelona, tried to go. No, no, no. Obviously, maybe he but I'm saying him playing, he doesn't even look like he's like no, soaking. He's, that, he's, that, he's playing. So he's a he's one of the best players in the world. He's a pro. But you saw with Cancelo, it weren't gonna work with a player like him in it. The fact that we ain't seen this kid again, um, Lewis. Lewis, it's the same thing. He's it's not, mad. When he came, man, did his thing. Because, because he's just trying to do the tuck in, the, the, the fullback thing. And he, no, it's not even he couldn't do it. He just went, man about that is not how I'm going to get the most out of Erling Haaland. He did. I told him. the guy, bro. And he oh, no, sorry. No, I didn't tell him that. He built this four, this four, and it's nuts. And he's the best. Even Stones, man. He's fake. Bro. Pep, win the Champions League, bro. You He's are the best, but year. win the Champions League, bro. You didn't even win it at Bayern. I had a convo with Dan Savage. Dan started the season and he made this statement about if Pep doesn't win it, it's a failure. Yes. It. Are we still on that? 100%. But, uh, but I, don't, I don't care about what happened at Bayern. I, I know enough about Bayern Munich to know it's just nonsense. It's a nonsense club. Yeah, it's more City. They're stuck in the past. Yeah. Because they won the, I know, bet I bet Pep showed them. Here's the plan to how to win the Champions League. And they said, no, he's too famous. No, he's too popular. No. And I bet. Probably said not enough, not enough German. Wouldn't they lose like three or four one yeah. to yeah. Real Madrid in the semi finals? It was just a bit of an embarrassing way that I saw him go out. And I was like, yeah, bro, was... didn't Pep almost win the league unbeaten? I think he won the league and they could have finished unbeaten. And <laughs> he switched the team, they lost. And everyone was just mad at him. Like, this guy's just, <laughs> I just he's on his own it on Bayern Bayern Munich's a nonsense <laughs> club. You see what they're doing with Sadio Mane now. Just, I did, whatever happens over there, it's chaos. They, cha they, changed, they changed their manager before the Chelsea game, for before the uh, Man City game, Bayern Munich, and then bring in Thomas Tuchel, and then just get battered. And you go, well, what's, you're paying two managers now. Nagelsmann's still on a wage. Tuchel's on a wage. You'd already, well, actually hadn't already won a the league. They drew uh, that weekend. But it's like, what, what are you doing? That club's nonsense. Yeah, nonsense. Germany's nonsense. Germany. Yeah, so right German, now, Germany that German league Germany is, is soccer, terrible, soccer, man. Soccer, soccer. A lot of leagues are soccer. nonsense, where, apart from England. I think Pep is just, he's, he's so meticulous. He's cold, man. I like it. And you know what? I think he does still. But the best people do, you know? Yeah, of course they do. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to... I, I don't like that, but I hear you. I don't, like, actually, I don't even hear you. No, I don't like that. Sport. It's not music, bro. Like it's a, it's about results, bro. You know something well, you works. You steal players. You go do it. Yeah, you bro. buy players. Best That's people steal, bro. Yeah. About, bro. Take yeah. If, if I don't have a choice whether or not I sell, way, you sense. could call it a purchase <laughs> if you want. <laughs> but you've stolen but it off every me. Every sporting thing is learned off a next. Everybody steals, bro. But look, everything. Big companies steal from us. But that is our top ten. That was a good top ten. It started a bit. Started soft. <laughs> Steve, I'll stop. We got to the grit. We got we to got, the. We got I into can't it. smell anything. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming, boys. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share to your friends. Let's get it. And join our Discord community.